for post. Oh, camera, I swear, I'm like an amateur. I got the camera pointing the wrong way. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome hey, guys. in, everybody. Good morning. We got, oh, I'm here. I'm like, where am I hearing music from? <laughs> so this one, the delay. Good morning, guys. We got Paul right here. Paul's Theme Park Adventures. Morning, guys. Joining us today to our our first Tech Talk, I think official. I think we've we've mentioned uh, mer uh, mer I mean not merch. Equipment. Tech equipment, yeah. Uh, gadgets. Um, and you did a video. I did a video, yeah. Of, like yeah. what's in your bag, right? Maybe a or month ago of, or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Pretty, yeah. So pretty recent. We're both uh, big tech nerds. And so we figured it would be cool to share some of that with you guys and in case you guys have some questions and maybe see how, for certain things, maybe how the process that, that we think through or to get the shot or stuff like that, I think it would be interesting on certain, certain things. Like if, well, I can answer that with the shot thing. Yeah. I, just, I just shoot. Like, yeah. <laughs> I literally just shoot. Whatever I'm looking at, I try to like, uh, you know, focus on it, shoot it and then just describe it as best as I can. Yeah. Well, yeah, and and that's one of the things I've, I've always enjoyed his videos, and I've asked him in the past uh, how he does it, and so we'll go into that a little bit, but for those of you from our channel that may not know Paul, you know, he does uh, theme park uh, videos, um, mainly vlogs recorded for the most part, right? Uh, yeah, I like live streams, but yeah. I feel like I, I, I get like a thrill out of filming. Yeah. Like, for me, it's about like filming, I don't know. But live streams are fun too. Like it's cool to you know sit down, connect, and just hang out with everybody day to day or whatever. So, Sorry, friendly. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah. So let me let me flip this around so we can get a better view of the table uh, and the equipment. You enjoy? <laughs> that's that's a real live stream setup for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and his live stream's like, what, it's 1080, right? 1080p? Yeah. Yeah, lucky. <laughs> I don't, I, I use a YouTube app like a, like a Do new you? kid. Huh? Cool. Rad coffee. Yeah. Uh, sorry, guys, if you guys hear me, like, talking on the side, I'm not crazy. I have a friend here, too. So. <laughs> not <laughs> not oh, imaginary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's real, I promise. Paul, if you see them, we see them, too. <laughs> I hear voices. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, no, you're good. Jeez, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you see the, the, look, look at my Instagram. <laughs> oh, well, I just saw the new Golden Girls thing right here. So I, I saw the Futurama thing. They have yeah. a whole, they have a whole Hulu, um, Disney thing like going on over here. I think it was yesterday and today, and they got some backdrops over here. Um, yeah, that was, I, I was like super surprised when I saw the Futurama one. I love Futurama. And I was like, oh, to, to have that be here, right? I was like, what? Like, like Hulu. Yeah. Um, all right, so welcome in everyone. Uh, Sunsets, Christy, Tyler, Amy H. And it all started with the mouse, Jude. I know a lot of these uh, got lost in, in, in the wait, guys, so I apologize. Uh, Richard, good morning. I, I saw that you were in here. Mods, thank you. Uh, Pasta, Lenny Fierro, welcome. There's Richard Bryan, Seti Webb. Uh, by the way, I hope everything sounds good. I don't know. I know oh, your yeah. mic is dialed in. Mine's, I don't know. I've never, I just, I literally just got here. Yeah. <laughs> and then like, we just started doing the live stream. So I hope everything sounds good. Yeah, we should be okay. They would have told us that. Actually, that's usually the mic that I use. So okay. I'm using uh, Celeste's. Uh, oh, oh, I forgot. That's what I uh, You're like, what are you doing on my phone? <laughs> right? Because I'm so used to seeing myself on here. But, but again, guys, welcome. We're going to go through some of the things that we use, some of, uh, some of the, um, equipment maybe some of the challenges that we've come across from yeah. from using some of this equipment or or things that we realized that we didn't have that we need yeah that actually, we bought you're, that you're, maybe you're, we didn't need like if we started with, with with gimbals like he would be the perfect one to explain this because i still use this which nobody uses anymore like, i, I, I use still use that one really because i, I always see you with like the, this is the four yeah yeah out of all the, the osmo mobiles it's probably the best one in my opinion still yes. but I, if you want to take your live streaming serious, you would go with a setup like the one he has. I, well, this setup is serious. <laughs> yeah, but this one is a lot more cost effective right now. That's like a hundred and ten bucks. Yeah. Or yeah, and and you could probably even find it a cheaper. Yeah. yeah, but but the one Nothing thing much. I like about this is that you can charge your your phone while you're streaming. 
So you, it does have a USB outlet here that you can plug into your, your phone. It's probably one of the heavier ones from the DJI, the Osmos, but but I like it, but it has strong motors. It's, it's pretty strong and, and, and it's legal here. It doesn't have that right. like, selfie <laughs> stick legal. thing like the other ones do, which like, is just Cause horrible. I got the five horrible. and I don't like it. It's terrible. The motors suck. I don't, yeah, like I'm, with the, the next version up, it extends. So for one, you can't bring it in here. No. Um, and and yeah, the motors aren't strong. I feel like I move like this and it, it starts to it, drift yeah. or go up and down on the side. And uh, this will hold the weight of uh, any of these Pro Max phones. Oh, really? Yeah, like like that one. Like, well, this one's yeah. The, those are bigger, right? The Samsung. The Samsung. Yeah. What do you use to for to stream? Is the iPhone? So I use the yeah the iPhone with the YouTube app. So it's like seven twenty. Yeah. You never uh, you haven't switched to the Prism or any of the other. I ones? have the apps. I just haven't used them. Oh, okay. <laughs> But yeah, I usually stick to the YouTube app. Like I said, I don't really live stream too much. So for me, it's like, as long as you guys can see and hear, you know, but right. like for me, where it gets like more serious is like in video making. That's why, you know, like I use something like this, like, right. Yeah. You'll, you'll see his, uh, well, you can see the camera right there, Yeah. You but can yeah, for, in the frame. for gimbals, um, this one, there's, there's even, there's a bunch of like more economical choices on Amazon. Um, Hohem has, uh, the, so the one I use now is this this Hohem M6. That's serious. And, you know, I mean, it looks big and everything, but, but it holds, I like because it has really strong motors. And so I'm able to, I don't have to worry about the phone not responding when I make a movement. Yep. Uh, battery life is really long too. This could probably go like 18 hours. Really? Yeah. Do I think this one's six? I think yeah, on the box because I can use stuff? this two days without charging it. While charging your phone with it too? No, I don't use it to charge. Oh. I, I do in an emergency, but then it does drain the battery. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I've never used the gimbal to charge my phone while live streaming. I only go live for like an hour when I do it, if that. For for this one, I've charged the phone and just had a cable charging the, oh, the this okay. thing. You know, for this you need a. So we'll get into that. You need the strong charger. <laughs> Uh, to be able to charge this, so you would need wallet. something like this, yeah, like a or like that one you're using right now. On yeah. Your phone. So, but this is what I use right now. I do have the the Zion, the Cream, the M3. How is that? Is that that's the white and black one, right? That's the white and black one. Uh, let me. Oh, I said I was gonna put the pictures on there. Um, that one's cool. It's a lot heavier, because that one's meant for like camera, like small camera. Right, right, right. Um, but I'm able to put the fan on the phone behind that. So for the summer. That's the one I use. I did see your fan, yeah. yeah. I, I saw you using it one time. I was like, damn, I think we were in the park in front of the Disneyland van, right? Yeah. When I saw you and you had the fan, I was like, man, that's genius. Yeah, because otherwise, the, especially the iPhones. They can't hang in the heat. They start dimming, like, immediately. The These are cool. That's why I have this one, the Samsung. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes when I know it's going to be super hot or when I plan on doing water stuff, like, I'll use this. Because if this one, the port gets wet, it dries quicker and, okay. and I don't have the issues. This thing, like... It takes me a day to, for it to tell me like it's there's no moisture in the thing. Now for the Samsung, how would you compare the Samsung cameras with the iPhone cameras? Um, Cause I feel like with Samsung's in the low light, it starts to kind of. Um, well, when I had a Samsung, anyways, which was years ago, I feel like when it gets kind of low light, like it, it kind of has trouble with it. But I don't know. I don't know if like the newer phones. This like, one in the low that. light. The, actually, where I find more challenging is in daylight when it's like cloudy, when it's trying to expose. Oh, uh, okay, it gets overexposed? Yeah, Okay. yeah. So it, that's the challenge on this. The iPhone, I think, it, during the day is better quality. At night, I like the the picture from this, though. As long as it's not hot. As long <laughs> as it's not hot. Yeah, because the iPhones can't take the heat at all. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so gimbals, like I said, I use this one. Um, but there's, there's some that, if, if you don't have a Pro Max, if you have a Pro or one of the older lighter phones, a lot of the gimbals will work for you, like these $80, $60 gimbals. If yeah. you're just starting out, if you don't want to spend. Cause so you mean like if you don't get the Max and you just get like the regular Pro, like the smaller yeah. phones? Yeah, yeah. Because this, I think, is like 200 That's not bad. Two, 210 or something like that. It's a great deal for, for what it does. No, and the, and the quality and the, oh, great. And then it, it brings strong. the light. So this one's also cool too because it brings the light. If you use the app for it, mm -hmm. um, oh what? So it is a cool thing because it's, it's like magnetic. Yeah, um, you can change the the temperature on it, the brightness. Is that a camera on there? 
Uh, no, so the other thing, this one has tracking. Like, it'll track you. Really? Yeah, so you can just put it down. And you don't need the app. Like, there's a, you turn it on here. Sorry, guys, I'm learning too. I know. <laughs> you turn it on here, and when you when you turn it on, it'll beep. And there's a little light will flash, like, trying to uh, find out who it's uh, tracking. So this sees you or whatever, and yeah. it, it keeps you in the... So you, basically, like, like using the DJI app, except without using the app. Yeah. That's cool. And it has, you can activate it by hand gestures. I forgot what it, what, what it is, like a couple hands. Like to stop, you know, you go like that and it stops tracking. And then to activate it, I don't know, you do some circle it's thing. It's like the hand. Kinetic on Xbox. Uh, is it? <laughs> That's the same idea. I don't know if you remember that. Years ago, it was like this, uh, it's called the Kinetic for Xbox. I think it was 360 or something. Oh, yes. And it would yes, move yes. up and down and stuff. Yeah. It's like the same idea, but this is cooler. Yeah, and with the light. So, and the cool thing is you can just take it off. Wait, that's, this is also, oh, this I is the light see, right here. Okay. Is it bright? It's pretty bright. Okay. Yeah. Not for you, daylight, you but. you ever have any trouble here with it? No. No? You don't care about the light? No, they've, they've never said it. Well, because I don't turn it on like, okay. like inside the rides or stuff like that. But it's just really outside or to show merch or to take, you know. Um, yeah, it seems like mostly what they care about here is like, as long as it doesn't extend, you should be fine. Right. Like, if it extends, don't even think about it. Now you have to hike back to your car and then drop it off. Right. Or surrender it, as they call it. Right, right. What's up, Metagamer? Metagamer says, I have the Hoham as well. Is there a way to turn off the loud beep noise when you turn it on? Um, I want to say yes. I, I want to say you got to do it through the app. Uh, wait, for this Hoham? Like, I've only opened the app to see what it does, because it has, like, a bunch of cool features. Mm -hmm. But I've never usually used the, the app. I have this light. I have one like that, but I don't use it. I don't bring no. it. No. I do. This one's super bright. Well, it's cause I usually film in the mornings, you know? I don't really come here at night so yeah. much. Obviously, it's daylight, but, but the cool thing about this one, too, is you can change the, the temp temp settings. Yeah. Make it cooler. But I like it because it's small. It's super, you know, it's and like, this has been great uh, when taking pictures, you know, at night, like even for other guests, like when they're struggling to take a picture, like I'll break this yeah. out and and shine the light for them and help them. It's like the size picture. of a credit card. Not, not, for, not the thinness, much, but like yeah. the, the yeah, width the, of, a, of a credit card. Yeah, just thicker, a little thicker. Um, that must be cool when you break out the light trying to help people with their photos. They're probably like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> yeah, they get, they get happy. Uh, Should see. we talk about tripods? Non-motorized tripods, or gimbals. <laughs> All right. Uh, I got this one oh. <laughs> not too long ago. This thing is cute. Look, this big. I know it sounds funny, but it's this big. And it's also got a clip built in, which is one of the legs on the tripod. And they're like 17 bucks or something. It's not too expensive, but it's really good for like small cameras or like your phone if you want. It even comes like a phone holder, which I didn't bring because I don't really use this for phones. Um, but there's that. This is cool. Right? I was saying, I, I love the size of it. I love the fact that it has a grip so you don't have to worry. You can do other stuff. Yeah, and, and then, then if you want, dropping. you just clip it to your pants or your backpack or whatever, and there you go. And how strong is it, the movement? Like, how you, do you, you have to move it yourself. So oh, you just, actually? Yeah, yeah, you can move it. You try to test it. Oh, yeah. It's got a little resistance to it. Yeah. It's not meant for, like, DSLRs or anything, but, you know, for, like, little things like phones and, and uh, mirrorless, or not mirrorless cameras, but, like, uh, point-and-shoot cameras. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, like <laughs> for example, like, stuff like this, that is a perfect tripod. Yeah, because I carry, like, the little one, too, from the, okay. this from the crane. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 it looks familiar. And so... Uh... We both use this one. This is one he's currently using on his phone right now to live stream. Uh, this same thing, except his is gray and black. Mine's all black. Yeah. And the only other difference is I added this plate to the top because my camera has a little plate on the bottom. So if I ever need like a tripod really quick without having to screw things on, like I'll just put it on like this, kind of like a regular tripod. And then you just screw it on, and then it's solid. And then see, it's good. And I even uh, customized mine with my name. I saw that. It's just That's cool. <laughs> so that one, so this is a Manfrotto one. Um, I have I have a smaller version of this one that doesn't extend the legs. Don't, and, and guys, you can bring tripods. They don't let you, you can't, you cannot bring in selfie sticks if you're coming yeah. to, at least to this part. You cannot bring in selfie sticks. Uh, you can bring in tripods. Um, thing I've been told is like the full size tripods, you'll see them out when there's fireworks and stuff like that for other creators. 
The only thing I've been told is that it has to fit in your backpack. Really? It has to be the size for it to fit in your backpack. That's the only thing I've been told. Um, but aside from that, you can you can bring a tripod. So you can bring this and extend. I think they said it can extend more than 18 inches, like on something like this. You know, the whole thing is they don't want you sticking your arm out on a ride and yeah. getting hurt or hurting somebody else. Losing your phone. But uh, Manfrotto, it's a really good brand. They're, these small handhelds, they're fairly inexpensive because they're full-size uh, tripods can get really super expensive because a lot of them use uh, carbon, fiber. carbon fiber and they're super light. Fluid heads. But very, very, very expensive. expensive. So since we jumped on that, I'll bring this sometimes. Um, if I plan on, on doing things by the rivers of America. Okay. Because I know if I can't get a spot, because there's certain spots that we like that have a place where we can put the tripod. But if I can't get one of those spots, then I can put this through the railing. Oh, you know, yeah. And so I'll put okay. it like this and... I was thinking trash can, but that's smart. You know, and, and then I'm up front and I can leave this and with whatever camera I got on here, because this one removes. So that's smart. I've so been doing my hand this, this whole time. Because <laughs> I usually do that because I'll have the this, mm -hmm. and if I'm oh, recording yeah. the, the parade on the camera or the firework, then I use this. Uh, for me, I'll be like this on, on, on Main Street. I'll be filming. It looks great at, at, begin, at the beginning of the video, and at the end, it's like, <laughs> like it's getting heavy after a while, but that's smart. Well, that's especially smart. if you got to raise up a little bit. Yeah. Do this. Like, even just hold your hand up like this high, and it gets tired. For, for 15 minutes. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a free workout. Let's see. Um, all right, Darth guys here. What's up? Uh, where are we at? Feel free to drop questions in here, guys. I'm just going through. Tyler, everybody, welcome in. Eric. It's Eric crazy. Like, 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 this is like such a topic that I enjoy. Like, I even forgot we're live streaming. I know, like, right? <laughs> I was like, oh, we're just hanging out with Javier. Right. Like, Nintendo game dude, welcome. Uh, Erica Velasquez says, we donated yesterday to Paul of the content he puts Thank out. Thank you. Uh, what should we get into next? I know Mike's is like a big, that, 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 that stopped mics, us for a long time over I there know. by Earl's. Like we were just talking about microphones all the time. Yeah. So it, it's funny because. Um, oh, you got a question. Manic Dong says, hello everyone. It is interesting to learn about the tips for streaming. But <laughs> yeah. he would know more. What? No, no. I was gonna say I have a question from the live audience. Oh, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> woman in the black sweater. <laughs> because I've had this issue too with, in regards to like bringing like tripods or like some sticks and stuff. Sorry, and the mic. Um, why? Why is it that it can extend from the bottom but not from the top? Like they don't tell you like when you're stand, like his extends from the bottom, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's just, it's just, just like but, that one. But from the top, like they just don't want it to extend from the top, but the bottoms can extend. Like it's weird. I, I think it's because like, well, I mean, I don't know if you have a better. No, answer, what, I mean, I think it's just because like he said, where it's like it can't extend past a certain point. This, I don't think would really, I don't think like this would really hurt anything. Like if you stick your hand out, you know. Yeah, because mine, mine is like maybe the size of his, I believe. But I've been, <laughs> but I've been told to take it back to my car or like surrender it, as you say. So that's why I was Let like, ask, why is, is it that like you can get all of these in, but like is the it one, one of the ones that when it's closed, it, it looks like a selfie stick? Yeah, and that's I, the, know, I know it's the, the one that once you extend the, it, that's yeah. where the legs open out. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I, I and think, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's weird that they don't let that one in, but they let all of these. I think in. because that one looks like a selfie stick automatically. This Probably. it has the legs. Yeah. Like you can see the legs, and and that's one of the things I think they look at. They're like, look at this. And they're like, okay, well, there's nothing else that's going to make this extend. Yeah. The legs extending don't, I guess, you know, it's not so much of an yeah. issue. Well, the truth is we, we usually just slip them a 20 at the entrance. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. there's, a, there's a trick to it. No. You know, another thing too, like, like I feel Disney, like- we do not. No, no, we don't. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. I'm going to tell you like I tell Celeste. <laughs> the words and comments from uh, Paul do not represent the I always tell Celeste. Uh, like, you put like that 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 like thing that that over my yeah, yeah the disclaimer like over my face. It's like a finger pointing at me. Don't listen to this guy. He's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So again, um, we've never had any issues as far as like them telling us, yeah. making us take anything back. But for, I can see those. Yeah. 
because when you look at them, like if you don't extend the legs, if you just extend them a little bit, yeah. the legs don't open. Yeah, exactly. You know, so I guess it is considered a selfie stick. Yeah. Or a weapon, I guess. I don't I know. Or a weapon. <laughs> All this stuff is a weapon. Too. I know. Look at this charger. Like... Look at these chargers. You can, like, throw them at somebody. <laughs> if you, that's why you it's know. like I prefer using selfie sticks because it is easier when you're holding, you know. Yeah. Their Statue of Liberty. Like well, I guess that's the know? thing why they also don't mind like you bringing in the big tripods because they yeah, know you're not going to be, you know, gripping <laughs> something ride. this yeah. big, <laughs> you know, walking around with it. How do you deal with people that don't like to be on stream? That's a good question. So for me, I, I, I really make a conscious effort to try not to put people on screen. Um, I mean, I, it's hard to avoid when we're just walking down right. and somebody walks in front of you. But on the rides, I'll always try to point up. Okay. So on my videos, when we're on a ride, you're always looking at the ceiling. Or I try to find different things, you know, details that I can show. Um, and I always make, especially like in Fantasyland, where those rides, you know, those queues are super tight. Yeah. I'm always showing, showing uh, up. You know, and I make it a point to like turn around so that people around can see that I'm pointing up. That way they don't get, you know. Have you ever had any issues though? I've never had anybody tell, I have. Me, tell me anything. I have. A couple yeah. times. Uh, I'm not going to say names or anything like that, but one time I was at a store here in downtown Disney. Mm. I got yelled at. By right. restroom. Yeah, I wasn't even pointing at the person. Mm. It wasn't a, a guest. It was a cast member, too, but again, no names. Um, but, yeah, she was like, oh, take the live stream off of me. I'm like, I'm not live streaming you. I was like, they're really following, uh, you know, Disney Hypebeast? Yeah. We were at a store here, and uh, <laughs> it wasn't World of Disney either, so, yeah. But, um I was, I was live streaming him because he was, he was in front of me and I was filming and he was in front of me whatever yeah. and, and she thought I was filming her and I wasn't so I just ended up walking out I was like you know what I'm not gonna yeah I've, I've always same thing with cast members like I, I try to keep it up you know when we go through the turnstiles I try to point down away from them now if the cast member engages with the camera and like waving mm -hmm. or saying hi or stuff like that then that's different but I, I again like I said sometimes it's hard because if you walk in and they just happen to be right there you know, as long as, I, the way I say it, as long as I'm not, like, just pointing the camera, you know, for a sustained amount of time, you know. You know, another one for me was during, I forgot which one it was. It was one of the Super Bowl cavalcades that were going on. And I was on Main Street sitting on the curb, I think. And, I, you know, I had the live stream on. I was on one side of the street. There was a family on the other from across the Main Street. And they were like, oh, can you stop pointing at us? And I was like, dude, there's like a thousand people here. <laughs> like, I wasn't specifically trying to film them. I was just trying to wait for the cavalcade. So what I would do is whenever I would pan, I would just go over them. And then come down and then go back go over them and you know just to yeah. accommodate them i guess but i i do that a lot you'll you'll see me uh same thing go like up and and down when people yeah. are are coming through that's why i like filming because it's just safer like you know like you just i always ask cast members before i film like millie always asks before and she's always a, a good sport about it she's always like yeah, yeah, yeah she likes it you know yeah but yeah, I, yeah, I, I you... never i never like hey hi millie nice to see you know no i don't do that like okay yeah yeah i always ask before um let me see how that works. There was a couple. There's a couple questions here. Uh, <laughs> Darjai says, "Haha, I always want to say hi, but not live, lol, because I hate seeing myself on cam." Same. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny because we always encourage people to come and say hi to us, and even if you come from the side, you know, or say you don't want to be on the camera, because a lot of our viewers that say hi to us yeah. don't want to be on the camera, and so we can respect that. Um. Any 360 microphone mount suggestions? 360 microphone mount? Like like, like to capture spins? sounds from... I mean, they have the, like, I guess the... The Rode the Stereo Mic Pro? Yeah, but that only, but that one's still kind of like a shotgun. That's the one you have, right? No, no, no. So the Rode Video Mic Pro is the shotgun one. The Rode Stereo Mic Pro gets all around. But it looks funny. It's like it looks like a tennis ball on top of a mic. Oh yes, it yes, looks yes. Horrible. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Those type of mics that are like yeah. like the recording studio ones, kind of. See, Sony, they came out with a mic that actually captures. It's like very smart, so you can like have the settings to point only forward, only back, or both, or all around. Yeah, so it's like a four hundred mic though. Well, um, I have actually. I gotta get it again. I had it, and uh, and I ended up lending it and didn't get it back, but. I have oh, the the it's mic. The worst situation. Points, <laughs> points <laughs> forward and back. The okay. uh, what brand is it? Hold on to me. Is it's, it the wireless mic? No, it's it's a five, Fady Fade. Uh, Didi. 
with the Didi? They, um, oh, maybe. They, they, they. Yeah. Yeah, the, there's a, a Deity, it's a dual mic that does forward and back, and you can set it. Um, you know, do you just want the front or both? Uh, and it brings the the, the wind. Uh, like the dead cat? The dead cat. The wind they call them, yeah, the wind mug, they call them dead cat. It's like these. You'll see the, the little furry part, and it helps with the wind. Uh, but there's that one. That one's uh, fairly inexpensive now. It's like 80 bucks. Are you know what's cool too? The the wireless mic go. No, what is it? Wireless mic mobile. The 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 very uh, budget friendly Rode wireless mics. That one, the receiver is the mic. Is the mic also? Yeah. And you also have a mic on you, so it's, you get you get uh, you get audio from both. If somebody's filming you, they can hear them. So I think that's pretty cool too. And I think those like what, 110 bucks, 20 bucks. Yeah. Like that. So there are some options. Hey, Rode's great. I mean, we're actually using them right now. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Romero loves it. My two faves. Well, I'm actually just standing in for Celeste today. Ah. <laughs> oh, so you got to sing then. I can't sing for you. Well, neither can Celeste. That <laughs> oh, man. I hope she's not watching. You're going to get killed when you get I home. I know. <laughs> uh, Sunset, Celeste, he loves you. <laughs> Sunset says, why is there audio issues sometimes? So sometimes I, the, the issues that I've come across the most is the cables to connect. So when, you, when you're streaming, um, they sell wireless mics. I guess we can start touching on the mic. They sell wireless mics that you can connect directly to the phone. Like this is a, one example of it. It comes with the adapter already. DJI, you have options to use this or not. Yeah. Some of them you can buy, purchase already with the connection for iPhone or USB-C. Um, the only thing with those, if you live stream for long periods of time, you need to charge your phone. You know, those are perfect if you're going to do a shorter stream. Um, a, lot of, a lot of these types of uh, microphones don't have a pass-through to charge at the same time. So we end up having to use an adapter that you can plug the mic into, and you can plug, yeah. It's actually a road one. Oh, is it? This is for the lightning, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and so the best thing is obviously to get the company one, because it's it's perfect for it, but they can get expensive, some of them. You, I don't know, do you need one of these? I don't need this anymore, I don't have a lightning. No? No, so you can have it. Um, so these cables, after time, you know, the tugging, the pulling on them, the bending, they, it takes a toll. It's just like even charging cables, they give out after so much time. Yep. And so that's a lot of times where you start hearing issues, you know, like cracking. Um, that's why I usually say go with braided cables. I, I'm a big fan of braided cables too. Yeah. I, I didn't bring one with me today, but well, actually I have some. Hold on. Uh, there you go. Just like these, braided cables. These are short cables, but it comes in handy. It's like a, in case of emergency cable set. That's cool. You bought the case like this, or? It comes with it. This is cool. It's 50 bucks. Uh, Apple, or you can go to mofi.com. Not sponsored. I like the case. Yeah, it's right. I'm like, the case alone, it feels nice. Yeah, because I. It's got the brand. Because like, I just got my my things thrown in here, and that's probably oh, no, why no. they mess Look, up. Me, me too. Trust me. I'm not, you know, this looks like in my closet. It's like a mess in here. I mean, half of it's on the table, and I'll my backpack through it, but. You guys get the idea. Uh, let me see. Uh, Richard says, the fact these guys try to be courteous is just that, courteous. Um, Crazy Cat Lady says, what kind of camera do you suggest I uh, use for doing live streams? I'm just curious to know. Phone. The phone is the easiest thing. Um, we have, so some of these other things we can, oh, we said we're going to go into the mics. We'll come back to the camera, but phones yeah. is probably the easiest option. You want to ask that question first? Or you want to, you uh, you well, want because to it's probably going to... Okay, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. We'll come back. Um, so for mics, I've tried a bunch of different mics. Like, I've, I've tried to have some for, for the more... Um, if you're on a budget, more budget-friendly. Okay. Yeah. So I've tried some of, like, the Cinco's, um, The What was the other one that I just tried? The All audio Holly Lark are caused by Goofy. <laughs> Holly Lark um, and Isaac Comica. 
I don't know if Com- Comica, Comica. They're, uh, the Comicas are like, a, the one that I tried was like 100 bucks, 129 bucks. It had similar dial for the volume. Okay. Uh, the only problem with it is that, again, you can't charge the phone while you're using them. So for us that we do longer live streams, it, it, it didn't work. Uh, but they have good sound. I put a bunch of these links in the description of the video so you guys can check them out. Um, if you're doing shorter streams, you know the, the you, some of these more budget-friendly options might suit you. But I think sound is probably one of the most important things oh, on a for video. Sure. For sure. You can get away with the video being a little blurry or shaky, but if the sound is bad, you know, you're, you're not going to well, Look at my live streams, they're 720, they're not even 1080. Yeah. But I feel like they sound good because I use the mic that I have for them. So at least they sound good and, and you can you have an idea of what you're seeing. You know, like. Right. Right, and for most most things, 720 is fine because, again, you're, it's not like you're showing, you know, I can see maybe uh, the fireworks show, you know, like an actual show. I've done that too. Do, Doesn't like look 720? the best. Yeah. yeah. You guys, like right now I'm looking at like a live stream from my phone. It looks amazing. Yeah. Like your shirt looks really great. Like it's like colorful. It's it's detailed. You can you know. Thank you. The, t- the 1080, <laughs> the 1080 really picks it up. But if it was like 720, it would just look like you know all mushed together. But it looks really clean. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure the shirt is clean, but it looks clean on the camera. You no, know? I, I, I just watched it. <laughs> I just watched it. I just watched it. That's what. Um. <laughs> that's funny. Speaking of washing, I'm, I've been like stuck on scent boosters. If you guys don't use them, try them. It's amazing. It makes your clothes smell really good. <laughs> uh. Manic says, hello, everyone. Interesting to learn about the tips for streaming. How many charges do you guys carry? <laughs> it depends on how long I'm going to be here. Oh, you do? <laughs> well, I think they mean, wait, you mean batteries for like cameras or like portable chargers? Like chargers if it's portable chargers. Yeah. Hold on. So I'm using one. I, cur- I currently have, so I have three with me right now. I have three on me. I left, yeah, I have, well, I left one in the car because I figured I wasn't going to stream that long. But I got the one that I'm using there. I like this one. This one's slim, but it's a little bit more expensive. Okay. But because I carry it in my pocket. This one too. You know, so that's why I like this. One of the things with chargers, guys, um, people have asked me, uh, especially with the phones nowadays, you want to make sure you find something that has a strong output. So I would say at least like 20 watts output. Or if it says PD on it, which is power delivery, that's also good. It means it uh, charges faster. Yeah, um, because you can find some of the, the cheaper ones, but they'll output like at 15 watts. And that's cool for your normal phone, but if you plan on streaming, you need to have the power because they, they take a lot of power the phones and they start draining quickly. Like this is a small one, it's a 30 watt output. So that's why I like this one. This one? It's 20 watts. That one's 20? Yeah. The reason why I like this one because it has the wires built in. Look, it's got oh, lightning yeah. and USB-C. And I'm not kidding, I carry this in my pocket every day. Yeah. I, I keep two things How in my pocket. How long is the, the cable though? Huh? How long is the oh, cable? Oh, it's cable? short. Oh, okay. It's just like to have it on your, on your hand. So that's why I carry this in my pocket all the time. Like I carry these mics and this charger in my pocket. I'm not even kidding. Like anywhere I go, these come with me just in case. Like I have, so like this is, there's a big difference in size. And in weight, I mean. Yeah. This one's nice though. I like how, like, like you said, it's like sleek. And it's 30 watts, which is. It's 30 watts. Yeah. It's fast. I like the texture. I keep saying I'm going to buy more of these, but. Is that one a wireless charger? Price. Yeah. Okay. And so this one I just carry in my pocket with the cable. And I always leave it. So one of the things when I'm streaming, I always plug in the phone immediately and leave it charging. So I try to keep it at 100%. You know, I might unplug it for rides if. if you know, if it's going to be an issue. But I like to keep it at 100% because it, my train of thought is you never know if the cable is going to fall and get wet at some point or something's going to happen and my charger didn't charge and then I'm stuck, you know, at 20% with nothing to charge and then I have no control and you got to end the stream. Yeah. That way, if I keep it at 100, if something happens to the charger later in the day, then at least I've been, you know, streaming for a long period of time and. And, um, See, I don't usually have that issue because I don't stream long. Right. I'm like I'm like 30 to an hour maybe. I know you guys do like five, six hours I've seen sometimes. Yeah. Like, sheesh, I, you guys are, are kings, man. I don't know how you guys do that. 
<laughs> you guys are professionals. We're, no, we're, we're crazy. <laughs> but I remember I used when I would stream a little bit longer, like I would have it plugged in sometimes, but I did notice that it would, obviously you're charging, so it would like raise the heat on the phone, yeah. which would also cause the dimming, which yes. is horrible. So that's the thing is you do got to, you got to find that balance if, if you're in the sun and your phone starts to dim and, and you are charging it, you do got to unplug it so it doesn't continue to overheat. Um, Nintendo Game Dude says, I bought a gimbal, but I can't get the confidence to use it at the park. Do you guys think about it, or is it just so natural for you guys now? Second nature for me. Is it? For me, I still I get nervous at times. Really? I get, if, I, if when I'm setting up, like if I'm putting my mic on and I'm about to start and I catch somebody like staring at me, you know, from the side, it throws me off. I get nervous. You know, once once I start, I'm fine, you I'll, know, because I'm I'll, focused. And, I'll walk in and just be like, hey, guys, welcome back to another video, blah, blah, blah. Today we're here, there, they're doing this or whatever. Like, I just, I, I everyone gets blocked out of my mind when I'm there. Yeah. I, I, I only see the camera and nothing else, or and merch. Yeah, I'm, I'm working towards that. I, I mean, I wasn't like that always. Like, it took me time, too. I mean, you know, especially being like a heavy set guy, like, you know, it's, it's hard to be out there like that, showing yourself, holding a camera or whatever, because especially you do get stares. But like if you're holding I, a gimbal and you're only facing forward, that's not scary. Trust me, you're just showing stuff. It's not that bad. Yeah. I, in their case, in the whoever right. asked that question's case. I, I think the one thing that does make it easier is that it is more common now. So, you know, not before too. I think it was a novelty and people were like, what are they doing? What are they doing? Now, for the most part, people know like, oh, they're, they're streaming. Although everybody thinks you're streaming on TikTok. I, I hear that comment a lot like, oh, they're on TikTok. You know, when I'm walking by, I'm like, no, we're... We're, yeah, we're, vertical. We're vertical. Horizontal, I mean, we're horizontal. Wait, is it horizontal? Yeah, vertical is the other one. Okay, horizontal, yeah, sorry. I, said, I don't know any better. <laughs> we're like, we're new here. Yeah, we just started. <laughs> uh, we're new on the job. Right. Lori says, I use an Anchor charger, charger block that lasts all day long. Anchor's a really good brand. That's this one. Yeah. Yeah, really good, good quality. Um, There's only one issue that I have with Anchor, and I don't know if it's just the one that I have. But uh, my Mophie chargers, I can charge the charger while using the charger, if that makes sense. You can charge the charger while using yeah, the charger. Yeah, with the Anchor, which is the one I have here with the Scream or Ghostface sticker, this one you can only charge it or use it, but you can't do both at the same time. Oh, really? Yeah, like this one too, you can charge it and you can also have your phone plugged in. So like it has like a bypass, whereas the Anchor doesn't, on, on this one anyways. I don't know about the newer ones. Oh, that's pretty cool, is that Anchor? Uh, these, no, I do have an anchor, but I, I thought I had it. I, I guess I didn't bring it. So I have these. Those are cool. I got these for the phone. You know, they don't provide a lot of power, but I mean, in an emergency, you know, you can just plug it in and and at least it's, you know, handy. The one enough. thing that I do use in an emergency too is that on this one, it'll take the, it'll plug in. Wow, that's smart, man. That's I wow. So it'll it'll <laughs> you know smart. charge if, uh, if for whatever yeah. reason I used it to charge the phone for a little bit. Yeah, there's no cables needed or anything. That's None, nice. Yeah, that's genius. So that's again that's why I, there's so many features to this that I like. I mean technically with this one you could do it too. Yeah. Well. Well, wait. Isn't this a USB C? Yeah. I think it's the shape of the thing. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, it's working. Yeah. Dang. That's cool. I didn't think about that. Because, like, 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 for example, like on Instagram, you see, or I see the Anchor ones all the time, like the Anchor version of those. But I never thought about, like, using it for this style or whatever. Like, that's I'll pretty cool. I'll trade you for your cable. Oh, no, nah, man. Come on. This <laughs> these, is... are, these are fairly inexpensive. Don't worry. And you can charge it with Lightning or USB-C. Yes. Dude, thanks, man. I appreciate it. And, yeah. it. and it feels pretty heavy, too, which, I don't know, for me, if something's heavy... It's supposed it's, to be... It has 10,000... Uh, this is 10,000? Uh, what is it? Million thousand. Uh, 5,000. Is it 5,000? 5? 5,000 million pounds. Oh. But that's still not bad for something you can keep in your pocket, like... And it just... It's like the like the fuel rods. Mm -hmm. I love the fuel rods because uh, here... <laughs> you don't like them? I don't like them because they, they use... Um, I, I'm all USB-C. Everything I have is USB-C. And I hate USB-A, which is what this port is, if you guys don't know. This is USB-A. Yeah. I don't like it. It's, it charges too slow. And, oh, I mean, yeah. And I feel like the fuel rods... I mean, I know you can just switch, swap them out all day. I get that. But, ah, oh, man, I just don't want to keep swapping them out. Like, I'd rather have something beefy like this or one of these in my pocket than a fuel rod. 
And then this comes in handy because like whatever, like let's say you go to somebody's house and like they're an iPhone or a Samsung, whatever, you have both, you know, best of both worlds right here because you can charge it with either, which is cool. Yeah. Um, Tech nerds. Crazy cat lady says, just subscribe to YouTube channel today, Paul. Oh, thank you. Guys, make sure you guys subscribe to, to Paul for, for those of you, those few of you that, that have not yet for, for amazing content. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot of them that haven't. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> fries you, burger. Uh, is cool. I love I, fries. I, I used I've, to. I've mentioned, you know, I mentioned it like all the time, and I think I've mentioned it to you, but, you know, I've, I've always admired your content from when we started, okay. when we started our, you know, your, some of the, the videos that before we started, you know, we were watching your videos. So Les has always enjoyed the, the merch. Always uh, like, you know, your your style of editing. I've asked you in the past, how is it that you edit? That's and I was simple. completely surprised. Very simple. Because he edits just on his iPad. Mm -hmm. And even before you leave, right? Like the, Sometimes, yeah. Something. If I have time, like today, I actually have time to be here. So like today, if I film something, I'll have it out quicker because I'll be here doing it. Yeah. Um, but, uh, For me, it takes forever. <laughs> I mean, the iPad is just so, like, like and I actually have And I told Celeste your suggestion that I needed to get an iPad. She didn't agree, man. You have to have the sticker that says used to be cool. Used to be cool. Yeah, it's just easy. And then there's USB-C, so you can plug in anything. It's basically yeah. like a computer. And then get like LumaFusion, or you can get Final Cut Pro on your iPad too, or your phone. And it just makes life easier. And it, so, it, well, so what do you use? What app do you use? I use LumaFusion, but I also have a Final Cut Pro. For I don't know why I have it still, but I only use LumaFusion. It's like thirty dollars one time fee. Really? Mm -hmm. And it I updates use, and yours. So, so I still use, I have the iPad. But I can't get used to it. That's so I still awesome. use the, I, like, I like the skin on top. Oh, it's yeah. like a notebook. <laughs> and so I have the same thing for my iPad. When you see it, it's you like the like composition. <laughs> you should have put your name there, like Javier or something. <laughs> I know, right? Or Javier was so, here. So when you open it, you know, you get like. But I use, um, I've used Premiere okay. Pro for the longest. And I've been trying to learn Da Vinci, Da Vinci Resolve. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I switch back and forth, I keep forgetting one from the other. So I'm, now I'm like stuck between both that I forget commands from each one. Look, look let me, that's oh, my son. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me show you LumaFusion. It's like super easy. It, it feels just like uh, Final Cut Pro. But yeah. Lori says, I used to swear by Fuel Rod, but not anymore. Once you have experienced Anchor, you'll be in love. I like the Definitely. ease of you can just bring and just swap out. Like yeah. even if I don't use it, every time I come, I swap out for a new one, just to have it there in case of an emergency as I'm walking around. Unless you're at universally charged three dollars, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, this is it. So I just scrub through, cut what oh, yeah. I don't need, and and since I film, like basically when I'm filming, I'm I'm also kind of editing in my head, so I get like the certain shots that I want. Yeah. So it makes editing easier later. That's I think my my issue. Sometimes I get too much extra footage. And uh, and then I'm stuck. Mm. You know what I get stuck in when I'm editing a video? Uh, finding the song that I feel fits for it. Like I, I spend like hours looking for a darn song that that matches the mood of it. Yeah, that's why I don't use music. Because <laughs> like the whole copyright thing is so annoying. Well, I, like, so I um, I pay for epidemic. epidemic yeah. Well, like, I don't know, if I use music, I want to use, like, Drake and stuff that, you know, like, not, like... Common stuff, yeah. yeah. Common stuff, like, I don't know, just, that's what I like, you know? Or, like, cool stuff like that, like in movies or whatever. And so, Mitch, just a gentleman, other than selfie sticks, are there uh, other types of forbidden tech that Disney doesn't allow? Um, oh, somebody asked me this question yesterday, but go ahead, you can answer for yourself. No, you, I'm, I'm, um, you can't bring professional equipment here. Like, you can't bring a $20,000 camera here. They'll stop you. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then I think there was something else you can't do. Oh, yeah, anything that extends, like we mentioned. Um, I don't know what else. I, I mean, because I've, I've gotten away with a lot here. Like, I have live streamed using this camera here before. I built a Lego in Galaxy's Edge with this camera live streaming as the camera. Oh, really? Yeah, I had this thing called, I forgot what the device is called, but basically I had it on here. I had the Wi Fi stuck to it, whatever, and I was using this camera to live stream. And it was, it was nice. Came out cool. So, so I mean, right now that you mentioned, I guess we can. You can connect certain things to to stream with. So we got the the Pocket Three. Um, you can connect it to stream and use That's this. The three. Yeah. That's it. The the only thing that I don't 
I don't like to use it. Sorry. I don't like to use it because as it is, we struggle with signal sometimes. If you know you're in a place like Galaxy's Edge, that signal is good and you're not going to be moving, then yeah, you can use something like this. Um, you but, use this for streaming sometimes? No, I have it oh. for the same reason that that does. So, and this is the two. So it's a huge difference. This is oh, yeah. nice. I've had the, I've yeah, had the, the one. Oh. I've had the first one. The three is amazing though. Just the screen alone is uh, Yeah. And the, the, the colors, look at the colors. It looks yeah. so nice. It looks better than my eyes. <laughs> looks better than my eyes. Jeez. Yeah, I've, I mean, this is similar. Like, this is similar to like the first one. For but. this one, I always have to connect the the phone to it so I could see better the the picture oh, okay, to yeah. frame it. This is. I like the screen. This is the one I wanted to get. Yeah, that thing's tight. Nice. It feels good too. Like the weight. Yeah. Um. All right. So we were we were going to the mics, microphones. We were like, we're going to eventually get there. <laughs> we're taking the scenic route. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, the song so from Radio Springs Racers comes on? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, which software it. app? Okay, we use that one. Software app, anything, any other apps that you use? I use uh, CapCut. CapCut? Uh, I use Procreate for thumbnails. I use LumaFusion for editing videos. You use Procreate for mm -hmm. thumbnails? Yep. You want to see? I use, uh, well, I use Photoshop a lot of times. I have a library. When I'm, on, uh, when I'm on the go, I'll use Canva. Okay, I used to use Canva. Hey, look, I have all of my thumbnails from like previous videos. That's cool. Huh? That I worked on. See, like, uh, like this. Universal video. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, if you get an iPad, though, you gotta get the pencil. You have yeah. to. The pencil's like... Yeah, I have uh, I can't find my pencil for my iPad. <laughs> Eric Velasquez says, how early do y'all come up with content, or is it just day of? For you, day of. Day of? Uh, like, literally, as I'm, like, walking, like, I don't even stop to, like, think. I just, while I'm filming, I'm thinking about what to say. Like, I already kind of have an idea where I'm going to go. But because you're coming in with an update video in mind, no? I mean, I just come here to and see what's new. Okay. That's literally what I do. I just show what's new. There's, like, a, like, like the Futurama backdrop. I'm like, oh, it's cool. You know, check this out, guys. Yeah. I just show what I see. Which I feel like gives that illusion that you guys are here with us, you know? Because, like, literally what I'm seeing, you guys are seeing at the same time. Yeah, and, and one of the cool things, again, the, with your process is that you do uh, drop your videos right away mm -hmm. from when you're here. So it, it does help to somebody that's watching that, you know, at least the items were there, you know, a couple hours ago. That's why I do it. Yeah. yeah for me, it's not about being first. I, I can care less. For yeah. me, it's not a, you know, I'm not competing with anybody. You know, for me, it's just like... If the merch is there and there's a good amount, then we put the video up fast. So that way, if you want to get it or pick it up, you guys can. Because I remember before, way before, I would watch videos, see merch, and I would go, and it would be like two weeks old, and it's like, it's gone. Yeah. You know? And I'm like, well. Yeah, when we used to, when we would drop a merch video, that's the only one that I would stress out, and I would, I would have to drop it. It would still probably be like the next day, maybe. Really? You know, because we would come at night. And so, yeah, by that point, the, the stuff is uh, possibly gone. Uh, many girls have a question what charger do you recommend for an iphone um so again like we said any of the anchor anything that has a strong uh, uh output uh, a lot of times we don't look look at that um, with that said too unless it's coming with its own cables you also want to make sure that the cables you're getting to charge can handle the power as well so you you need the right charging cables for your for your devices. Yep. Apple's pretty good with that. Like if you buy like a higher end cable, like I have a, I bought a USB-C to USB-C cable from there, which is braided. And on the end, you, it's very small, but it says 240 watts. That's how much the, the cable can handle. If you buy like a little skinny little, you know, thread of a cable, it's not gonna help you. Especially yeah. if you're trying to charge like a laptop, because those right. cables are a lot thicker. Yeah. That's why I just make the, I've, I've made the mistake and I've bought like, trying to save money i bought so you know cheaper stuff in the past and realized that it didn't fit the need like you know it might have charged but not fast enough or I, eventually i just had to spend the money so you know look at your budget and, and try to get the best item that you can within your budget and, uh, and that's the whole point of live stream is that way you know you guys don't make our mistakes yeah because <laughs> i've done the same thing so i've poured money into the, you know uh, stuff because I love this is like one of my favorite parts about doing this is the stuff you know yeah I love the 
technology behind it and then the cool. aftermath, which is like the comments and the sweet words and stuff and all that. Uh, Chupacabra says, yo, yo, Javier and Paul, good to see you this morning. Oh, thank you. Just tuned in, already great advice. Uh, Remember, if you guys have any other questions, like, please, like, you know, right now's the time, we're here. <laughs> How do you keep electronics from overheating? Stay out of the sun. Yeah, uh, at times where you can't, like, I learned my lesson, and that's why I ended up buying this fan. I got a different one now, too, as well. Uh, but this one is a Razer, R-A-Z-R. Um, it's, I think it's like 50 bucks. Does it light up? Like, I it does light up. Like I think that. I took off the, I, I turned off the light though. Mm -hmm. um, but I use this. And so I bought a second one because even this will shut off after a while because it gets hot. Uh, so I can replace it with the other one. So you need a cooling fan for your cooling fan? To you cool need your a cooling fan, yeah. <laughs> because I learned my lesson that one time for Christmas, the Christmas parade that we were having heat waves a few years ago. Like, I, I think it was like 103, and the, my phone died. I think I was recording, uh, I don't know if with this, uh, but that died. Luckily, I had a second phone that I was able to to uh, continue recording with. And so I learned my hype beast is the one that mm -hmm. told me about the the fan. And that's probably one of the ways. They have, this one is uh, the Mag, uh, MagSafe. MagSafe, but they sell ones with the clamp if you have Android. How do you, oh, how do you cope with the heat? What the fuck? Doom says, my pops used to bring in a massive beta cam when I was a baby. Like, <laughs> those, uh, how much cam do your order. backpacks weigh? A lot. A lot. I, I gotta give it to uh, Disney. They make uh, good backpacks because you don't feel it as much. You know, I'm so used to the backpack that when I come and I have like a really light bag or I'm not wearing so it, my back it. hurts. No, no, my back hurts at the end of the oh, day. Really? I'm so used to walking, I guess, however I walk with it. No, for me, like, I feel naked without my backpack. Like, I, I'm used to the weight, and it's so, like, I don't know, it just I would say not easily, easily. What, Yours 20, looks heavier pounds. than mine. 20, 30 pounds. Mine, I don't know how much. I mean, right now it's kind of it's kind of empty right now. Let me see. Close the zippers. But yeah, mine it's kind of empty because it doesn't have all this other stuff in it. Well, that one is a little bit heavier. Yeah, this one goes in the strap, though. Oh, yeah. It's not that bad right now, but usually I have a smart water on the side. I have all my stuff. I have the ZV-1 usually, but I didn't bring it today. Forgot it. But, yeah, this thing looks... It's all powered. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> and you know, it's funny because I try to take stuff off, and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to leave cables, you know, a few cables. You'd be surprised how heavy cables uh, cables are. Spare batteries. He's got two, what, you bring two gimbals? Or a gimbal and tripods? I bring a gimbal and a tripod. Usually okay. the tripod, if I can get on crazy rides. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing, guys, with, so with these type of gimbals, I mean, not gimbals, with these type of tripods, there's certain rides where they will not let you get on it if it doesn't have a wrist strap. Really? They'll tell you I've to put away. In Credit Coaster, okay. they, they ask you for a wrist strap. Um, Goofy Sky School, they always tell me you need a wrist, uh, really? wrist strap. Otherwise, they'll tell you to put the phone away. I took, I think it was this on Goofy Sky School. Really? Yeah. I don't. I barely fit on that ride, by the way. That ride is tight. Like especially I know. going with somebody. I'm like, I'm like this. Like you know, I feel like that guy from The Simpsons I, in the small car. I say it's. A, I have a love hate relationship because I like the ride. I don't know why, because I'm afraid of heights. Okay. Yeah. Same. But the the what stresses me out is the getting out because you know it's still moving, mm -hmm. and then. I feel like my foot always gets stuck yeah. getting out, and I'm like freaking out that, okay, we're still moving, and it's stressful. And it's funny, because you're not even out of the thing, and there's already people trying to get in. It's yeah. like, hold on, hold on, you yeah. know? Like, um, okay, so Mike's. You haven't gotten to Mike's yet. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get there, I promise. So Mike's, like I was saying, there's we're like, all right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. We'll yeah, right? <laughs> okay. There's budget-friendly mics that you can use, and again, it depends for what suits your needs. Some of these more budget-friendly ones, they have noise reduction on them that you cannot control. It is what it is. Some of them, you know, they have different steps that you can move, like how, how much you want, uh, want it to, uh, to uh, get rid of the ambient noise. Look. Depending on what you're doing, that may, su may suit your needs, it may not. You know, if you're doing a talking video and you want to make sure all you hear is you, then that's perfect. 
but for me, for, for my taste, because I do want some ambient sounds when I'm walking around, uh, it, it didn't work. And then it, if it has too much noise reduction, I feel like your voice also sounds robotic. Kind when of you're tinny, talking. like yeah. hollow. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> that's one thing to consider. I use Amazon a lot because, you know, the return policy. A lot of things. Uh, they, they, next they don't, day delivery. <laughs> yeah, the next day delivery. Um, and if it doesn't work for me, I just return it. And I've gone through a lot of mics like that. That's why I would, I've mentioned in the past, like I'm testing out mics and people are like, do you recommend them? I'm like, I don't know yet. Okay. You know, or what type of mic are you using? I go, you know, I don't want to say yet because I don't know if it's going to fit, you know, uh, suit the needs. So what I came down to, again, is if you can, if it's within your budget and you can spend the money, you know, get the best thing that you can afford. Um, I use, again, we use the Rode mics. These, these are probably the first mics that I got, the Rhodes. These have really good quality sound. The, the range on them is crazy. Like these I've done with Celestian and DCA, you know, at the exit of DCA. And um, me being at the columns of the monorail. Oh, damn. And, you know, and with people walking through and you, you can still hear her. You know, so the range, you know, we're never going to realistically be that far in, in mm. a thing. Uh, so that's why I like the roads. My one complaint when these have been that the charge time, I mean, the the battery mm. life, they're rated for, I think, five or six hours. In reality, I get like four maybe. Um, so sometimes I use this to charge the, the receiver. Oh, okay. You know, because um, that one tends to go first before the mic's the receiver. Yeah, like, uh, for example, the Sony one that I have on my, my main camera, it's a Sony one, but this one, the receiver only lasts three hours on this one. Oh, really? But the cool part about this is that the camera charges it with oh, no okay. cables. So, so it's not that's, an that's, issue that's if you're going on. No, that's going on forever. This is probably the, the, the thing will die first, but the good thing is I have two of them, so if one dies, swap them out. Okay. And then the, the charging case will charge it, and then if it happens again, swap it out. So that's the, the good thing about that. And then also no cables, which is great. Uh, let's see. All right, somebody is asking about how to protect stuff on wet ride. So we'll come back to that one because we're, we're never going to finish the mic. Um, <laughs> we just started it too. Uh, the other ones that I use that I love the sound, and I was telling you are these, yeah, the yeah, Ceremonics. Yeah. These to me have the best sound quality of everything versus the Rhodes versus the DJI uh, mics. My only issue with these is that the range. So these are. 2.4 gigahertz mics. Okay. The range between them, when we separate, so the reason why we got mics was because Celeste and I, we always separate. Mm -hmm. And when we were showing merch, like, you know, if she talks and she's over there, when I went to edit, I'd have to clip everything and raise her volume, you know, and it was just a pain. That's why we ended up getting mics. I had the same uh, issue like that too of why I got wireless mics. I used to use uh, shotgun mics. Uh -huh. They sound great when you're in front of it, but like if you're behind it showing stuff, it's like, oh my god, you guys check it out. Yeah, well, I think it's, I like, asked it's, it's, it sounds you, horrible. Like, and you told me that you talk close to the camera. Yeah, right? it's like you're almost kissing it. That's how close you have to be to, to get good audio from behind. Yeah. But in the front, obviously, you could be like probably six feet away and it sounds great. Yeah. But with the wireless mics, no matter where you go, no matter where you turn, it's on you. So it's gonna you're going to hear yourself and you can hear whatever, you know, where, your, your, your uh, environment. Right. And then the other thing, guys, for the placement for the mics, if you're wearing, usually you can get the lavalier mic, which is the cable and you know, get the little mics that you can clip. But if you're putting like these, you know, a lot of things, a lot, a, a, a lot of videos will tell you, you gotta keep it actually lower, like, you know, like where we have them. Don't keep them up here because it tends to get a lot more of your, your throat sound. More cables, just yeah. the mics. Um, yeah, the throat thing, and then also it looks crazy. Like, can you imagine that like, you're filming, there's like something right, I don't know, that, that I like it here, because also like when, when I'm filming, you only get like here. Yeah. You know, from me anyway, so you don't really see the mic. You just hear like the sound. So these are good. Uh, again, the roads, now they're a little, that particular set of roads, when I got it was 300. I think they're like two something now. This one, I, I checked, this one is still $300, 299. It comes with a charger, it's three, two mics and the receiver. It comes with this charging case. Um, then the DJIs, I got the, these, the DJI, is it Ghost? DJI, I don't think it's the, 
I don't know what they are, but this is the first generation. We'll show you the second one right now. These are cool. They have, you know, you can plug in with the mic, but they also come with the little adapters that you can connect either to lightning port or a USB-C. Sorry yeah, about the I background say, noise. I got, I got the DJI mics because of you, actually, because you showed them to me one time in DTA. I saw you on Buena Vista Street. Uh, no, not Buena Vista Street. It was Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, okay. And then you pulled them out. You let me play with them. I think you were about to start a live stream or something. Oh, yeah, or I think yeah. you were live streaming. I don't remember. But yeah, you are like you were telling me how like um, how good they are, how easy they are. So that kind of sold me on them. I was like, okay. And then like I started seeing videos on them and people, yeah. you know, with the audio. It sounds good. So then I went with the two when they came out. Yeah, so this is, uh, I think this one's probably still like 300 maybe. Maybe a little bit less. Comes with its case. The other thing with the road, they don't come with a case, with a charging case. Yeah, no. Oh, just the well, you new can, one. Well, ones. yeah, not, this version did it. No. So I bought a case for 50 bucks, but it doesn't charge it fast. Mm. So I ended up buying cables just to charge each one individually, uh, like a three uh, plug thing. Yeah. Um, and so these uh, I like. Again, the this is probably like a little bit longer, the battery life for, than the road, but uh, still we end up running out because we go like six hours. Isn't it? Like for me, the, my favorite thing about the uh, the DJI, sorry, is that you can just plug it straight to your phone. It's just so easy. You just plug yeah. it in, turn them on, ready to go. Yeah. You don't have to mess with settings or nothing like that. You just set it and forget it. So again, like when we start having issues or let's say the other mics in. Don't mind that, it's part of the show. Yeah. Um, this is why I say I like to keep my phone charged because if those mics die or I start having issues with the cable, then I can plug in this directly yeah. into the phone and not have to worry about that my battery's dying. But you have the newer version. Yeah, you want to show them? Yeah. So these are the DJI, uh, the, is it the two? I think it's just the wireless uh, uh, V2 or whatever, I don't know, version yeah, 2. Yeah, <laughs> version 2. The, but these are see-through, the little, uh, the mic, the, the microphone part. The case is uh, kind of see-through, which is pretty cool, I think. I think it looks cool, but I'm not a fan of it because it's shiny. I don't like gloss. Like, yeah. well, that's what I like about the Sony ones. It's like matte black. You know, if you put it on and you can't really see it, but that, like, you'll, you'll stand out. Could you replace it? Because it almost looks like, I don't know, like you could pop it out. But I like how through the plastic, you see how it says uh, 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 transmitter. It does? Yeah, it says TRX. I think it's on the oh, bottom. I see. Yeah, 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 and then okay. on this one it says receiver on the oh yeah on the front, front. Yeah. mic receiver. So I like I like these. Um, I like the fact that you can uh, adjust it with the dial. For for mine, I have to go through the menu and scroll and you know swipe and then do it. But I like this. So I think this is next on my don't tell Celeste, but this is next on my bucket list. Yeah, she's not even watching. Yeah, right. Um, Where you ordered it? <laughs> Are you gonna get the with the charging case or without? Yeah, I only got this because of you know I was trying to keep a budget. You know, I yeah, I gotta get the, the two, the yeah. set oh, of two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need two, so because this is still like what like three something. Yeah, well, the cool thing the is like if you like let's say you don't have enough money to buy the whole set, you can always buy it separately. They sell the charging case and another receiver, or yeah, a transmitter on the separate. I think so you the, can build it. You basically build it, yeah. Like I think the mics are $100 each and I don't remember how much the receiver so, is. So the Pocket 3, if you ever decide to get the Pocket 3, it comes with one of these. Mm -hmm. The the Creator Pack. Oh, so you technically only need to buy one then. You already have one. Yeah, what do I think? So much yeah, would you, buy the, the would you buy this one? You get one of these, and it connects to it automatically. So it has a built-in receiver, and it'll it'll receive two mics. Really? Pocket three. Okay, I didn't know that. I, I knew I know it came with one when you get the yeah. was it the creator or the Bible yeah, creator, creator or whatever. Yeah, whatever it's called. Yeah, but you can it there, it has an input for two for two mics automatically. So, like you said, the good thing is that you can build. The also cool thing about this mic that I this is a, this is another selling point for me. These mics you can connect with anything that's Bluetooth. So like if you wanted to connect this to your phone to use as a thing, you can get an app and then you can use this as a Bluetooth uh, mic without even using this. Right. Which is cool. Yeah. Like that, just walking around with this with a microphone, that's that's easy. And then this also has noise cancellation, which I think yours does too, right? Yeah. And stuff like that, which I, I've used it, it's okay. 
Yeah, the, the the cool thing about all these mics is you can adjust the levels as well. So, like Celeste is when she talks, she's usually her voice is louder than mine. So it's that's how come I know which one is hers. Like her mic is on this side because I have it adjusted for oh, okay. for her because her volume I turned down, mine I actually turned up a little bit. Um, and then wired wired mics. You don't use them anymore now that you got the I, wireless. I don't use them anymore, really, but Rode Video Mic Pro is probably the one. Yeah. If you're using a bigger camera, like a mirrorless or a DSLR, because if you have, like, a, a point-and-shoot, it'll look kind of ridiculous because the mic's, like, this big. <laughs> so, yeah. So, like, putting on a camera, like, how are you? Yeah, like, yeah. I brought the... You brought yours? Yeah, there you go. See, like, putting a, a, a big shotgun mic on this would look crazy. It'd be, like, you know, something like this. Like, that, that just looks crazy. Like, <laughs> Yeah, this is a great vlogging camera I feel is that the first or second uh, the first okay, I so haven't used it the only thing I never liked about this is the battery life on them horrible so that's one thing to consider you get something like this um, I think I have like like 12 batteries damn I got three or four I don't remember. really I have yeah. one of yours yeah I actually lent her one of mine <laughs> <laughs> I needed a second one <laughs> yeah and then I got this mount for the for the crane Oh, the, the cage thing? Yeah, so that it had access to the battery. Uh, yeah, because that's one of the issues. They fixed that issue with the second one, but in the first one, the battery uh, door is right where your tripod goes, which is annoying. Yeah. So you have to unscrew it, take the battery out, or you can also plug it in, but it's micro USB, which who has a micro USB cable nowadays? The new one's USB-C, which is better, so that's why I kind of want to go for that one. But, yeah. but this is something cool, because you, know, you got the rotating screen. So. Yeah, I love that, because the autofocus is fast. It's, yeah, it's, it it's a great pocket. camera. It does fit in your pocket. Um, let's see, for mics, I think. So you're happy with your, your mics? Currently, yeah. So I, when I use my ZV-1, I use the DJI mics. When I use this big camera, I use the Sony ones. And if I use my phone, I use these two because it just plugs right in. So, yeah, but as far as, like, the Sony ones, I love them. I just hate the price because yeah. they're, they're close to $500 for this case and then two mics and then the receiver. But, but they sound good. This is, what, this is what I use every video. I mean, it's, it's an investment. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Kevin says, how long have the portable phone chargers, the ones that clip to the bottom, lasted for you guys? Oh, so like these, um, again, I might get, it, it won't charge the phone fully, but like I said, this is more for an emergency or to charge something while I'm waiting for the parade or something, just so I don't have additional cables hanging around. Yeah, actually, like, thank you so much for this. I'm, I'm like really into this. It's pretty cool. Appreciate it. Yeah, that one's cool. It comes in handy. Kind I of like says, how it's a digital screen telling you how yeah, much That's cool. That's what I liked about it because a lot of them will have the bars. And I mean, I yeah, it's know. like how, how much battery is a dot? You know, like you don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on. Uh, Hannah says, nice to meet you, Paul. How did you both hey, grow your channels? How did you get your name out there? Consistency. Uh, yeah. You got to show up. You got to, uh, you know, whether whatever is consistent for you, whether it's daily videos, weekly videos, whatever it is that you can do. Yeah, if you do once a week, keep that schedule as once a week. Just, it's going to take a little bit longer probably, probably, unless you get a video that hits really well, but it's got to be consistent. And, and just be, I think, just be you. Mm -hmm. You will find your audience. You know, don't, I mean, it's cool to get inspired by other people and, and you know, and learn from other people but you don't want to copy other people because that's not you you know be yourself um and like i said the, your right audience will find you right yeah i just couldn't have said it better like for me like i feel like my videos kind of represent my personality it's like quick moving next yeah. joke here and there you know like, that's me yeah. like same guy on and off camera and same with you right. same yeah. you know like i mentioned in my video yesterday i was like good wholesome people you know good funny people like, honestly, like, I always say this, I feel like I see, like, an uncle, you know? Like, you have, like, that uncle vibe, you know, like, the fedora, like, I don't know, like, you got that cool style. <laughs> That's funny. It's like, yeah, when, I mean, when you meet them, you know, they're great people, like, you get, like, the same guy you get on, on the live streams or videos or whatever it is that they're doing that day, like, you get yeah, the same guy. Because I've met people that I've watched, and they're nobody, or not the same as they were, and it's horrible. It's like, oh, oh man. I'm not going to throw names out there, but. No, I know. <laughs> And, and I mean, not not just in this, like in general, like you see a lot of a lot of people, it's just a, it's a, a, facade. a, a facade, you know, and I mean, a I think you can only, you can only take that 
so far or you can only because eventually your true self comes out yeah yeah so just be you yeah, and i can't pretend that long to have a character to go on this is really who who we are you know or, yeah you know, it's just, it is what it is uh barry says i've seen dark rides where the shot is too dark and others very bright what's the uh, i'm saying what's what's the deal or what do they so, mean in general or like from a video they saw of yours or who's or probably in, in general? general i don't know so it really depends on the camera mm -hmm. you know for dark rides if you're able to shoot with something like like this type of camera will definitely have a, a better shot than the than one. this camera the size of the sensor yeah makes a big difference and and the pocket Three, it will, it's actually has a one inch sensor, so it's mm -hmm. it's a decent size sensor. I think the first one had a micro four thirds, or what was it? This uh, one. Yeah, the first one had a smaller sensor. It was like the same size as the GoPro. I yeah. Think. And then they finally went up to one inch. Yeah, so the the quality is, again, it depends on, on the camera. Uh, even the, the iPhone, you know, like we were saying, I feel, I feel the, the Samsung, is better in low light for me. Okay. You know, uh, than the iPhone. And you can tweak little things, like on the app that we stream with, you can adjust the exposure, uh, but still it's it's digital, so it's not the actual file. It's not gonna be a clean a clean uh, picture. Sorry, at the, at the end, like <laughs> this comment like, just made me laugh. Uh, Tiffany Shoemate, I think her name is, says the tech temple is growing on the table. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Yeah, because it's like a pile of stuff. It's like I know. thousands of dollars here. <laughs> What's up, Legendary Adventures? Welcome in. Those are wonderful, but the price is rough, especially when they get damaged. That's the other thing. I would say if you're able for Amazon is get the coverage, especially on big purchases. Mm -hmm. You know, because again, their return policy is is really great at Amazon. The same with Geek Squad at, or Geek Squad at Best Buy. Yeah. Geek Squad is really good. So the last girl said, hello. So let's mic is turned down. Uh, let me see. No, what did you say? Oh, no. Somebody was saying so less that, because uh, I mentioned that I had to turn down Celeste's so mic because she's, uh, she's loud. She's spirited. Oh, okay. That's, she's that's, spirited. You're not loud. You're spirited. There you go. Tiffany says, is your backpack organized or an organized mess? I asked because I see that you easily access your item. So for me, I use, I'll take it out. I use a, a camera divider from one of my camera bags. So. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. So I bring, you know, like this one has the cover and it has, a, has like three dividers, but you can adjust it. This is actually from a camera bag that Celeste got me. Uh, Ona bags, it's some leather bags. So I use this. I have a smaller one for for like the smaller backpacks, but not. I don't know if it's more organized. It's at least I know which pocket to to go into. Well, if I had to answer your question, mine's an organized mess. Mine's mine's an actual camera. Like it's because I know you kind of turned yours into a camera bag. Yeah. Mine is like a camera bag, and so it has like the little dividers already built in, kind of, where you can like it's like uh, Velcro, so you can move them around. Yeah. But it's still a mess. Like I can show you guys if you want. Nothing special, but this is an actual camera bag. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah, cool. It's only it stops here, and then this is all oh, the camera okay, stuff, and then the top is like the accessories, or whatever. But and then here, this is the pocket for the camera, which I don't use. That. I use it for the the charger. But yeah, see, it's like a. It's like oh, a, that's the one. If you like, open it halfway, you yeah, can yeah. grab. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I use it for. I have the divider right here, so I put the charger here. So gotcha. in case I need to, you know. But yeah, organized mess. Nothing cool. Nothing great to see in there. It's just a mess. But I know where everything is. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. Like I can reach in. I know which pocket. Like even when I switch backpacks, I keep certain things in the front pocket mm -hmm. and then the next one. So so I don't have to look. I can be reaching down and I can pull up the little flashlight or whatever. Yeah. Easy to grab. Stanley says, "Is it hard to hold the camera on certain rides, like the canoes?" So I've streamed on the canoes. Really? I've never been I on I think that. three times. I've never been on. And, and the way I did it was, so like holding, you know, the, the paddle, and depending if I'm on this side, I think I was holding the gift like flat. Mm -hmm. I forgot what the mode is, you know, so it doesn't move, but it's just, mm. 
it's a uh, it's so it's a tilt lock yeah i think the it tilt, lock. tilt lock and so as i'm going like this you know you see the up and down but it's not like and and that's how i held it but you know, like i was tired i would die on the road i was tired and i was afraid i'm like okay if i gotta let go i gotta remember to let go of the paddle and not the not the gimbal because oh this was God, over the water it? oh my god you're horrible and I thought about getting a chest, because I have a chest strap, you know, the, like for the GoPros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but unless you're in the front row, that doesn't help you because you're only seeing the person in front. So like if I get on a ride like Big Thunder and I'm filming with my camera, it's even that's hard because everybody puts their arms in the air. Yeah. So it's like, you know, the focus starts focusing on their hands or their head or their neck or whatever it is. And it's like, that makes it kind of hard. And then like you're moving around. So it kind of, everything I do is like handheld though. My ZV-1 handheld, this camera handheld. Really? Yeah. Like I have tripods only if I'm, if I'm trying to get like a certain shot, because I feel like a tripod, like a static shot looks cool sometimes. Mm. Like if you're doing like a walk around video and then like you do one where you just walk up to it and you're standing and the camera's in one spot, I think that looks pretty cool. But that's just me. Uh, Deborah says, what would you like to recommend? Like a or something or? It sounds like it, right? <laughs> Sorry, but, <laughs> I get distracted well, easy. What would you to recommend uh, to be a good starter pack for someone who can't afford all that but wants to get started streaming? For me, is just just start doing it just with your phone. Mm -hmm. When you first start, don't worry about all this other tech stuff. You know, just start with your phone. The phones nowadays, the quality is really good. Oh, for sure. Yeah. The picture quality is good. The audio quality is good. Again, like for us, I, I mentioned some of these things, the mics, because of our needs, because there's two of us, and mm -hmm. the way that we move around, we're just too far apart, so we need mics. But if it's just one person, just Use the phone, use the the mic from the phone, and and get the practice. That's the main I did thing. That. I did yeah. that. Sorry, I did. I used my phone for everything for the first two years of this of doing theme park stuff. Yeah. Two years of phone, and then afterwards I got tired of like having clips on my phone that I didn't really want there. You know, like cause I, you know I got a family stuff, so like I want to keep my family stuff on the phone and not like merch. <laughs> right. So what I did was I ended up getting a camera, and then you know it, it's just easier to organize everything if you do that. But to start off, the phone is perfect. Yeah. Like a lot of people use the phones to this day and, and yeah. I just feel like as long as you get the audio, like if you want to upgrade like your quality from having a phone and make it like a little bit better, audio. Like hands down audio. Right. Right. The, again, for me, the the other reason when I'm by myself, why I, I use the mic is, you know, I'm pointing up or whatever. Mm -hmm. And if I'm reading the chat, because we read all the chat, Thanks. you yeah. know, and, uh, and so then I can be talking low while you know the camera's away and i don't i know that the sound's getting picked up uh, yeah i used to have that issue when i was showing like like for example like launch five bags because like i have to show it from here but talk so it's like it doesn't pick up but when you're wearing the mic it just no matter where you're at it picks up so let's see uh tiffany says where's your go-to when you start to buy your tech amazon best buy i like best buy or i like sammy's camera i love sammy's camera pasadena though it has to be the past year. Oh, have, you been, have you been to that one? The, the vibe's different out there. The new one? <laughs> no, it's, it's been out for, it's been there for a oh, while since. The one, on, it's on Colorado, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I love uh, that one. The, the people are cool. It's like a, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, I've been the one in Santa Ana. Santa Ana? Oh, yeah. That one's okay. I like the one in Fairfax. I to look at one. stuff. I haven't been to that one. Because that one, the one in, in Fairfax in LA is, I think it's four floors. And each floor, like focus, like one floor, it's just strictly cameras. One floor is like lighting, you know. Uh, they have their own uh, Leica area, you know. So yeah. I'd love to go in there just to like look at the cameras and see everything that I cannot afford, you know. You know what I wish we had here in California? B and H Photo. Yeah. God, it's only like in New York though, like that. I wish we had one here. So I like Best Buy and Sammy's camera for something that I want right now. Mm -hmm. For Amazon, you know, I, I, I love Amazon. And if it's something that I can wait a couple of days, then that's cool. Again, because of the return policy, it makes it so much easier to return something with Amazon. And places like Amazon and like, I guess you can say like eBay, you can find stuff like attachments that you can't find anywhere else. Like, I don't know, people just make this stuff and sell it, you know? That's true. They make some creative stuff. Like half the stuff you've shown me, like, like that Velcro mount, I was like, wow, like that's genius. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, that's Ulanzi, right? But it's, still, like, it's still like genius. Like, yeah. I would have never thought of that. Uh, again, welcome in everyone. Hi, Lily Beth. See, well, for whoever came from my channel, I told you guys we'd be doing this. 
told you I'd be here with just a guy and talking about tech. That's what we're doing. So Les says, wow, are you implying that I'm loud? No, we said spirited. 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 Yeah. What's loud? Loud's overrated. Spirited. Nikki Rice says, very interesting subject. I'm into photography. I'm if into I never photography. heard from you again, though, I know what happened. <laughs> so let's go, Jim. That's what I know, right? <laughs> um, so you like to record. You like videos. Yeah. Are you still doing the, your drone? I don't have the drone anymore. Okay. Um, I got rid of it because I was like, I don't really use it much, you know, because what I used to like doing is filming at the beach or like the cities, like okay. filming in the city of Long Beach, like where the buildings are. That's so cool. It's highly illegal, but it's fun. <laughs> but the shots come out really cool. Like I've gotten cool shots of the Queen Mary or like the, you know, stuff like that. It's really cool. But um, as far as like tying that into my channel, though, it doesn't fit. You know? Right. I, mean, I can't fly it here and there's no merch right. in the sky. Right. <laughs> no merch in the sky. Um, yeah, I like photography. Like no. I like street photography. Um, I don't have the eye. Before, we used to go like downtown LA and I would just go and just walk around, just shoot. That's cool. Kira says, how do you guys get all these electronics to security? They even wanted my eight-year-old for holding the gimbal. So you got something a 20. <laughs> I'm kidding. I we guess just, I'm saying that, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We just, uh, just as long, I try to make it as simple for security. Usually like all my cables, or buttons and stuff, I put it in the back so I can just take that out and, you know, they can see what's on it. And then they just ask, you know, does it extend? Tell them no. And they're cool. Same thing. I just show up, open my, my pockets. Here you go. And then... Roy says, I just saw your new video, Paul. Thank you. So I was reading the this one. Doom Boogie says, "Question: Where do you see tech going with the future of streaming? 60 frames per second higher? Yeah, I mean, hopefully 4K. I mean, they already do it when you have like a computer, or I'm sure certain apps can do it. But the only problem is the service. You know, if you have to have really fast internet to, right. to be able to capture so the bandwidth. Or whatever. There are a couple of apps that you can stream 4K, um, but again, like he says, the service and Disney. The, I mean, their Wi-Fi, you know, is bad. <laughs> hopefully, with all these." With all I love this the expansion. honesty. <laughs> He's like, it's, just, it's bad. It's bad. Uh, I mean, it comes in handy every so often, but overall, you know, and and not just for us, yes, yeah, streamers, for the regular guests that's trying to mobile order something, you know, sometimes they struggle. Mm -hmm. um, they struggle to get service, so um, that's why I'm saying I hope that Disney does invest into better signal because if we keep pushing to use the Disney app, yeah. so we should at least have good service. Yeah, because we're trying to here. do everything digitally, so it's yeah. like, yeah, they should offer, you know, they can't expect everybody, especially like tourists, to have good internet here. You know, some people probably don't even have service here because they're not from here. Right. <laughs> right, exactly. Colon Party of says, we have met both of you guys. You're genu genuinely great people. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he actually commented this one, this is more, a more recent one, but he says, how do you transfer your footage from your uh, camera to your iPad? So I use memory card readers, and oh. I don't really transfer the footage from my memory card to my iPad. I work off of the uh, off the memory card. So once I unplug the memory oh. card, all the footage goes with, with the SD card. I don't have it on my iPad. Oh, oh, I got you. Yeah, so once it exports from the app, then I have the, the full video on my iPad, but every, all the clips, gone. Now they stay on the memory card. Okay. So you use it as a hard drive, basically. Kind of, right? Yeah. So I use for the laptop. I use this one. I forgot what this one is. G Shock something. I think this one's four terabytes. Damn. And I like the the lacy, lacy orange good. one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have that one, but this one this one's surprisingly inexpensive. For the Samsung four. ones are good too. They're okay. Um, so this is where where I store all the stuff. So you keep your footage? Yeah, I'm bad. I used to do that. I stop. Literally, once you see the, like, once I finish editing the video, footage is gone. I delete it. Well, now I've been starting to delete because I've always had it with the thought of, like, maybe I could use something, but I don't catalog it, so there's no way I'm going to find. Well, if you're ever going to use it again, what you can do is, like, if you made a video with that footage from before, just screen, screen record it. Well, yeah. Screen record it, put it in the video, and it looks good. I, I've actually done that before, and it looks fine. Yeah. Uh, I was nervous to say 4K, but it would be so cool. Just imagine that, a 4K live stream, like handheld walking around here with no issues, that'd be great. 
see. What was your first wireless mic? Because we kind of went over that topic like kind of fast, but. My first wireless mic was, uh, is it, what's the brand? Uh, is it mobile? I think it's, a, I think it's mobile. Mine's that brand, was it Ceremonic? No. Uh, which uh, is the one that you have? Ceremonic. Yeah, that was my first wireless mic. I had a, uh, yeah, they were not as cool as they are now. They look similar like this, like the body, but no screen. Oh, yeah. Nothing fancy. Nothing. Even, it even came with the attachment for the phone, which was cool. Oh, really? Yeah, but it wasn't as cool as, as the DJI ones or whatever. It was like this long stick. You put it on, and like the 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 frequency was horrible. Like, it would pick mm -hmm. up a lot of, like, it, it would get, like, lost a lot because of that. But it was, you know, first, I feel like one of the first of its kind. I, I bought, actually, you know what, even before that one, I got one that was a lavalier mic, and it came with a little receiver, like, like no nothing digital mm -hmm. it was like 20 30 bucks um, the receiver used a nine volt battery oh to wow. tell you what kind of uh wow okay. it was and uh <clears throat> it it sounded good and it lasted for the longest time the only reason again because of the needs i stopped using it but it was like super cheap plastic um, I don't even remember the brand. Like, you know, like the name was all faded. It's crazy. Uh, Denise says, "Is that Paul? Omg, I know him <laughs> so a lot." <laughs> it's me in the flesh, or kind of digitally. Which carrier is the best for Disneyland? AT and T. Yep. AT and T. Um, everything else. I mean, Verizon will hold up in certain areas. T-Mobile is bad. <laughs> uh, I don't know what else. Those are the only major ones right now. Yeah. Darth says, did y'all talk Wi-Fi signals? Uh, again, yeah, I mean, you have Disney uh, Wi-Fi, but it's not, uh, it's it's not, not good. good. And I feel like the only reason why it's not good is because everybody else is on it. You know, so many, I'm sure a lot of people try to use it too. Uh, yeah. So yeah, because you got, for those of you that watch like the streams on like opening day for things, mm -hmm. like with the fireworks, everything is cool until right before the fireworks start because everybody goes live. Yep. You know, and it just uses up all the, the signal. Uh, is it possible for either of your channels to when they post a video of a step-by-step -step guide to editing? I would love that. My editing is not the fanciest. It's very simple. I don't know if you want to see mine, but... Yeah. I think that would be cool. For me, it's just a bunch of cutting. It's nothing... Like, I don't add music. There's no real, like, transitions. That is so loud. I know. How good are these mics? Are you guys, I know you guys are hearing it, but... Can you guys still hear us? Uh, Michael says, I missed the beginning of your stream. What are you streaming on now? Uh, right now is the iPhone 13 or 12. I think it's the 12 Pro Max. I think it's the, it's the blue one. I think it's 13. Oh, it might be 13. I think it's 13 because of the blue. I think the, was the 12 green? I don't know. I think the 12 might have been green. I don't remember. Chupacaro says, mic from the phone is surprisingly good. I did a video the other day with the external mic and phone mic. During editing, I decided to keep phone mic. Yeah. Phone mics are, are really good nowadays. Pasta says, Sammy's on Fairfax. is the Disneyland of Photoshop. Yes. Richard says, we're hearing you guys. Fantastic background being filtered. Nice. Cool. Uh, so we're we probably crazy. We're complaining about the noise back then. They're probably like, what are you talking about? I know. <laughs> Sounds fine. Again, that's why uh, it's worth investing, you know, for for good sound. Mm -hmm. Richard says, what is the basic toolkit made up of? A gimbal, mic, camera, battery pack. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, gimbal, and the gimbal really is just to help you stabilize. You guys see on Wednesdays, for the beginning part of the stream, I use the tripod. You know, because 
since I do all the crazy rides, mm -hmm. I don't want to be switching between gimbal and, you know, so I stick to, to mine. And then you just hold. The only thing is you got to learn how to walk and how to keep it stable, you know, because you got to walk a little bit. I don't want to say different, but you got to be conscious of this because if you're just walking, then you're, you know, your phone is going to yeah. be like you this. You have so to you know how to, like, how to absorb the bumps. Yeah. And, I mean, I don't think it stands out so much on Wednesdays. I give you guys the warning because it is bumpier than the gimbal. But, uh, but I don't think it's that bad. Eh? I have a question for you, actually. So yeah. the YouTube app, it doesn't really use the third camera on the iPhone, nor does it use the stabilization. Does Prism use both of those? Yes. It uses the built-in stabilization on the phone? Because that's the worst part about the YouTube Whoa. app. Because it doesn't use the stabilization on the phone, which sucks. And the stabilization on the phone is great. Yeah, so like, that's the other thing. Between the Samsung and the iPhone, the iPhone has better stabilization than this really? one. Uh, with this one, I feel like when I'm looking, like this one is shakier. Oh, okay. But Prism also can add stabilization, but it delays your video. Oh, okay. So even from you seeing it, like you're you're here, you move here, and then the picture follows. Because it's like it's uh, what is it? Uh, it's doing its processing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I tried it; it throws me off, Competent. so I don't use it. But it does use the built-in, though. Yes. Okay. I'm probably, I'm gonna, let's try it out. I think 360 is probably going to be uh, for the future. 360? Live streams, yeah. That would be kind of cool. I wonder if the, the Insta360 has the feature to live stream, because I know like the GoPro does. Oh, I've never had an Insta360. I'm not a 360 fan, really. But... Me neither. I've thought about buying one, but... Right now, my next thing is going to be the those mics. DJ, yeah. Yeah. I still need to buy the rest of it when I'm able to. I need to buy the other mic and then the case. The case is like important. You need the case. Uh, Stanley says, do you prefer streaming horizontally or vertically? So have, have you tried the whole vertical with the YouTube? Oh, actually, I did once with Lily, who was here a second ago. Because huh? uh, when you go live with somebody else on YouTube using that app, it's it's vertical. Okay. So I've used it. It's a little weird because it, it's like, for me, YouTube is horizontal. Yeah. Instagram is vertical or TikTok. Right. So it's just, it's weird. Um, I think it's strange. But one of the things that it makes me focus, which at the same time I kind of like, is the framing. Because now I have to be more conscious of... It's less... Because like yeah. this, you capture more. Yeah. With this, you have to be more selective. It's a tighter well. shot. Yeah. But I think people are so used to on YouTube the horizontal mm -hmm. that I think it throws everybody off the vertical. Another cool thing about using horizontal video is that like if you wanted to turn it to vertical video, you have you you can do that because you have more of the shot in there because it kind of crops true. in. So it's better to film horizontal, in my opinion, than just fix it later rather than just film or live stream. Yeah, you guys get the idea. Eric says, "What's your favorite uh, Roosevelt shirt?" I like the the purple. 100 celebration. I've never had one. I don't have style. No. <laughs> yeah. Neither do I. Yeah. I'm just flannels and sweaters. That's all I wear. Very basic. Uh, Pimmerine says, oh no, I have T-Mobile. There goes my streaming career. There's ways around that. Romero says, editing scares me. I'm clueless. Um, again, I would say practice, just practice, practice recording, you know, even if it's, uh, I don't know, a video from your local park, something where you're just pointing stuff out so that you can go back and edit it and, and see what you can do. Just, you know, if, if you want to gain that confidence. Yeah, like if you're like, you use an example, like, like, let's say, Let's say, like, you do go to a local park, like, from by, like in your neighborhood or whatever. Film yourself getting there, what you did there, and then what happened after. Like a story. And then when you edit, it's the same idea. You just put it in the sequence that you wanted. Right. It's like, I feel like I keep getting louder and louder. Like, it is loud right now, eh? 
Omar says, do you guys ever live stream with the Pocket 3? Again, you're able to. Brother? Do you ever live stream with the Pocket 3? Oh. You're able to, but like we said, the signal here, because it, it, it's not the best, even with AT&T, mm -hmm. I don't want to have another connection, you know, because you would have to connect the, the Pocket 3 to the phone, to the phone service. And then, you know, that connection, if there's issues to try and troubleshoot, you know, is it the Wi-Fi, is it the cell service, is it the Pocket? That's why I don't, unless it's something like he said, like with his camera, where you're in a dedicated area, like right here. If we knew we're not moving mm -hmm. and we got good signal, then yes. You could use your pocket. Oh, by the way, when I said this would be a good spot to do a live stream, I was completely wrong. That is so loud. I know. <laughs> I messed up. We could have gone anywhere else. Can well, you hear you guys fine? We can barely hear the background. Wow. I need to hear this back. I need to hear it back after. What's up, Amanda? Uh, let me see. I think some, they had sent me some questions. Any other questions you guys have? Uh, we hear you more than the construction is. That's crazy. Like there's parts where like you're talking and you're explaining, I can't hear you too well. I know, right? It's like, I can hear you talking, but I can't hear what you're saying. Uh, what charger is it? Are you sure about this? Are you sure? Yeah. Dude, thanks, man. Where'd you find this, Amazon? I actually got four of them. I like how the thing kind of extends too. It's like, so it goes to like cases and yeah. stuff, which is nice. Cause sometimes I don't do that. Which this, I feel like, I wish this was a little bit longer on this one. A little bit. Yeah, because you can't use a case. Yeah. Yeah, we can hear the background construction, but it's very light in the background. That's good. Chupacabra says, I notice often people will ask you to find something or check something. And you guys always seem to remember, even way later. How do you do that? Do you keep a no one request that you check? Do you ever like, like if somebody asks something like, like do you ever get on the live stream like somebody, oh, can you, uh, can you show the lounge fly that you walk by? Um, I've done that before, yeah. I mean, I, don't know, I just keep it in the back of my head. Like even though I'm reading all the comments, I still like some, for some reason for me, some comments like kind of like stand out. So if it's like, oh, check out the Cinderella lounge fly bag, whatever, you know, whatever it is, I'll remember that. So I'll go back and show that. So I just keep it in, my, in the back of my mind, just remember. Yeah, I try to, and that's why I tell you guys in the chat, remind me, because sometimes, well, you see us how long it took us to get to the, <laughs> the microphones. Uh, Pre-tier says, does it say on the chargers packaging usually that we can still use while charging? Sometimes you I gotta haven't... search. Um, that's one of the things I've looked for on the microphone. Does it do pass-through charging? Uh, so you can search on Amazon. I put in the search, you know, like portable charger, charge while using or something like that. And, and it won't always give you the results, but at least you can start seeing and then checking the descriptions to see. Or I'll do Google searches for the same microphones that I can charge while using. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's not a feature that's commonly thrown out there because a lot of people might not have that need because you figure yeah. if I need the charger, why do I got to charge it? Right. Yeah. But it's great. We only have one cable so that way you can charge your charger and then charge your phone. Right. J2 says, morning all. Paul, how are you able to film at the Lego store? Just walk in and film. Well, to be fair, they, they tried stopping me a few times, but I go in there so often that like, you know, I'm cool with the people that work there for the most part and they just don't really bother. Like they, they just, they, they're like, oh yeah, we see you all the time. And also I respect the rules, which is don't, don't film people, don't film the, the employees. I go there just to film the stuff itself. Right. Unless I accidentally get somebody like a little bit, but I don't try to go for people. I just show whatever's there. Right. And same thing in the park guys, that's one of the things, it's always, I, I want to say it's, it's a privilege that we're able to do it. You know, it's not, it's not a right. So if a cast member ever tells me, oh, you can't film in here, even though I've filmed before, like, I, I'm like, okay, you know, I'll just, I'll come back at another time. You know, I always respect what the, 
the cast member says it. Yep, same. It's prior property. <laughs> uh, Maureen says, Javier and Paul, how do you feel about using a GoPro? Is it too limited? Can you even live stream with those? You can live stream now. The GoPro is amazing. As long as there's sunlight. Yeah. These are, they're not good for, for low light. Um, the sound... It's not bad. It's not bad. Really good in the wind. Um, but the, the stabilization, you can't beat this. This, you could walk around like like this right now and you would get a nice... You could have a limp or... and it'll be smooth. Like, I'm being... <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. Like, I'm being serious. Like, you could... You have, you know, like the most shakiest hands ever and it will be stabilized. Like it would look really good always. And that's what I like about it. So and the colors are very, very bright too. The colors are, are really nice. My recommendation for this would be if you plan on vlogging with it, is don't use it on the super wide, mm -hmm. you know, or the wide because you get that distorted look. Use it ver uh, linear, I think it is, linear. or whatever yeah, close linear. to that is, yeah. um, that angle. Um, and it's, you get enough to, to be able to record yourself, you know, you get enough uh, width. So, but these are great. If this is all you got, then, you know. I like keep I, in the car. I, I tell people is use whatever you have available. You know, I'm guilty of it too, that I'm always like, oh, I'm gonna wait until I get the next camera or the next camera. And the reality is, is you're not gonna do it once you get the next camera anyway. So just start with what you have, start building little by little you'll see what things you struggle with that you're like, okay, no, I, for my type of content, I need this. You know, then that's when you start building your your bigger kit. But for yeah. now, use your phone if that's all you got. If yeah. somebody gave you a, uh, a GoPro or you, you know you have an old GoPro, just use that just to get into the habit, get the momentum going. Yeah, because the good thing about the GoPro too is that it has a front-facing screen as well, uh, as well. Like it's got a screen on the front, screen on yeah. the back. So if you want to see yourself, you can. You don't have to flip anything or anything. It's just there. And then if you want to flip the, the camera around, it's there too. And then, huh? It, it's been louder, <laughs> but they can't hear. They say they hear us like perfectly okay, fine. Cool. That means the mics work, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> see, it's worth investing in the mics. Yeah, definitely by road. Uh, I know, huh? Definitely by road. Uh, road, we're available for sponsorship. Yes. I hope you can hear us like they can hear us. Right? Because of your mics. Uh, I just read that one from... Hey, from Carmen. Here. How are you doing, Paul? I'm doing good. You're hanging out with Javier and... Well, Lily's in the background, but she's here too. She just came back. <laughs> <laughs> Richard says... I know, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Richard says, if we're just starting out with the phone, what would be the first upgrade? to get when, when you're ready to um, to upgrade microphones um, the footage looks great on the, I, the the video i did yesterday i was actually on my phone on the front facing camera yeah and it came out pretty good i thought it looked okay yeah and that's the other thing uh, even like with the newest phone i think this is the 15 pro max whenever possible use your i always get them confused use these cameras the ones that point out, you know, the rear facing. Yeah, the rear facing ones. Um, the front ones, they're good, but still, it's not going to beat your 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 main camera. I want to say because yeah. even the zooming and the wide one will not have the same quality as your regular camera, um, the main one on it. Yeah, that's why, like the live stream. You guys are seeing the rear facing cameras. Like we had it faced the other way, so we can see it, but it looks better with the cameras in yeah. the back. I think it also helps because that way we look at the lens versus that's true versus the other one you tend to look at yourself the picture yeah because we're all secretly conceited yeah, right <laughs> i'm just kidding uh, yeah but look like look at the like i mean i know you guys are watching it but like i'm seeing it here and it looks good like no complaints tiffany says are the gimbals heavy are they comfortable enough for the average person to hold for long streams this one isn't bad well this is the Osmo Mobile 4. This one's not bad. I think they're lighter, huh, the new ones? They're lighter, but they feel this cheap. is, I, I feel this is a workhorse. Yeah, that's the, the best one they made. Is, I've, like, mine, I've dropped it multiple times, and like, like I think it's cracked like somewhere over really? here. But it still works fine. It charges, the magnet is super strong. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Like, it'll pinch you if you're not careful. Yeah. Oh, and the other thing with the mic, let me, uh, 
Yeah. Let me use your thing. Now with the mic, with the gimbal. I always tell people, if you get a gimbal, they're usually great regardless. You know, all you got to do is, like, if you get something like this, you put you put the strap, I mean, uh, the clip, and then... You balance it? Yeah, well, a lot of people don't. You, a lot of times you don't have to. The motors are strong enough. But if you want your gimbal to last, you want to balance it. You know, and you want to... So what I tell people, just move it until... It, sh it shouldn't drop. And another thing is it should be able to do this. Like, it should, you should be able to put it here and it should stay on its own like that. Yeah. See? Because it's balanced. Yeah. And so this will put less, less strain on your motors and it'll, it'll stop your gimbal from overheating on, on the motors and it'll last longer. And it'll be a smoother picture as you're moving around. So just take that extra little time, just put it and you know, if it's too far one way, you'll know. And just keep going. I always do it. it because of the mic, because it sticks onto it. So yeah. that's why I always I always stabilize it before, just to make sure it's balanced. Yeah, and and then I just wiggle it. If it stays straight, it, it's perfect. There you go. Thanks, Carmen. Hi, Javier and hi, Paul. Awesome stream today, but I don't I don't understand none of this technology stuff. <laughs> it's okay. It's to make your life easier. Uh, I hope to see you both someday soon in downtown Disney. Definitely. I mean, it feels like we're always here. <laughs> right? Um, but regardless how light they are, they, they won't get heavy if you're just constantly holding it. Yep. Um, right now that I was streaming like all last week, um, rope drop, mm -hmm. like come Sunday yesterday, like my arm is sore, like cramping. Yeah. Like if, it's, yeah, it's all, it's all buff. It's like Popeye on one end, on all the oil on the other. <laughs> wow. Uh, Richard said, I'm looking for on Amazon. DJI uh, 4 only available use. Is it out of production now? It might be. Um, yeah, because they have two new ones now. It's like two generations behind already. So they have the 5 yeah, and the 6. Yeah. 5 was terrible. Don't Please don't buy the Osmo Mobile 5. If you, even if it's like for free, don't take it. It's just not good. Yeah, I have it. I don't. Uh, um, I don't use it at all. I sold it as soon as I could. I was like, forget. I, like it doesn't work. It, it would not stabilize much with like the phones because I, I think you need like a. If you're using an iPhone, I think you need like the Pro, which is smaller, but not the Max. You can't, you can't handle it. Preacher says you balance it before you attach the cords for the mic. Or a connection in the charging cable. So, if. Well, no, if you're using like this type of mic, you can plug it in and then balance it. If you're going to plug in your cable, um, for me, what I do is I leave it so that it's weighted a little bit more this way so that when I plug in the cable, it kind of balances out a little bit. But And then the other thing is I always... So let me show you. This is what I did for this one. You're going to behind the scenes over here. So I... Uh, Again, like I do, you take balance this, this one too? Because, yeah. or okay, because I know you said the motors are stronger on this one. Right? I do, like, like right now, it's it's balanced. Yeah, we got it first try. It's well, because yeah, you're as long as I don't mess with it, like, but like, let's say if I do, let me show you this. Like, if I use this mic here. Somebody said, darn it, I have a DJI Osmo 5. <laughs> Sorry. Trust me, we've all, we've all been there. We thought it was cool. Who said that? Uh, Mach 5. Uh, because they made it sound cool because it extends mm -hmm. and, and everything, but I don't know. I just, I was never happy with it. I take it to Universal every once in a while because there you can use a, you can use it. So like, see how If now I took it to Universal, it would stay at Universal. It drops. Loosen and that. Like I don't care about that part, the flipping that. But for me, as long as it stays, it, it's not going. See, it still keeps coming back to normal. That's cool for me. And then I use, I use this to prevent the cable from getting tugged too much. 
that's why I, I, I have this going through that loop. What I like about this this gimbal is you show me it has like a USB C port under the yeah, like so the, you can charge like right here. You can technically charge your phone, or I charge the mic sometimes. You have plugs you can put. You can plug like in plug. little. Uh, uh, this one you can't because it's in the way. Oh, well, the cool thing for this, let me show you guys. You're gonna trip out on this. There's gonna be a selling point for a lot of people. Again, ho hum, we're available for sponsorship. There you go. So, let me see if I remember how to do it too, though. I'm curious. I'm like, who? So when you're recording, like I just said, if you have something over here, it's gonna get in the way of the camera, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Wow. It moves it so that this part is in the front, and now nothing is blocking you from recording over here. That's cool. None of the other gimbals will do that, where you can put the arm part in the front or the back, depending on your needs. Because in the front, we normally wouldn't use this because it gets in the way, like when you want to read or you want to scroll, so we don't do that. But if you need something where this gets in your way, just... Right now it's struggle because it has the these cable. cables. But you can move it to the front or the back. I actually like that part in the back though. That's kind of cool. Like, or not like the other way you had it. That's Do pretty you? cool, yeah. Like if I had this, I'd probably have it the other way around just so that you don't run into that issue. Yeah. And then also you can still read the comments and stuff. Like. Yeah, so this is, and again, there's so many, if you use the actual app, there's so many features. Um, I don't remember the. Let me see if I'm about to look into it. <laughs> yeah, th this thing is cool. Any other questions, guys? Before uh, my we husband start? has the Osmo Six. Is that good for a beginner? He's an ultra marathoner and wants to video his runs. I've never used the six personally. I've stopped at the five, which I regret. So I went back to the four, but I mean, it seems like the motors are better on that one. So it should be fine. I mean, all the, the Osmo, honestly, a lot of DJI stuff is, is consumer, like beginner stuff. Like the drones, a lot of the stuff you can find like at Costco and Target, like those are like beginner stuff. Like the, like the, what is it called? The Mavic, I think that's like intermediate, I guess you can say. And then like uh, the Airs, those are beginners. So like the the mobile the mobile gimbals are usually like beginners on um, the DJI line. It's pretty easy to use. Uh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. What? You just like the noise. So it's driving me nuts too. I'm like, oh my god, all right. But then again, we're over here in a construction zone. Yeah. This feels like the movie Up, you know, like when yeah. the movie begins. Like his house is on nice, and then it's like construction all around. So like, look. So right now I have this set to track them on the app. I don't know if you guys can see. And you can see a little red dot on the top too. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just on the face or? Oh, I lost me. I lost yeah, because I put oh, my hand up. Because yeah. you did the, the hand gesture, hold on. using the force guys and it's pretty good it's, it, i think it's it's actually more spot on than the dji i feel like see like if you move it kind of follows you pretty quick this one's a little slower yeah and then it goes up and down that's cool I, you think that they'll build they'll build this into the the thing eventually uh, maybe that would be cool attachment? Um, I don't. The part that I like the, that it's an attachment is that again, if you use the hand gestures, you don't need to have the app open. 
So if you're live streaming, you know, you can activate it and, and they can track you as you, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's why this thing is great. Is that phone the 15? That was the 15, the Pro Max. Yeah. I like the color, is the gold, right? No, silver? This one's silver. This is the, this one's the blue. This one's a blue one. Um, let me see, all right guys, any other questions? DJI 4 is my go-to, love the battery life and it can definitely take the weight of the phone. Definitely, yeah, the 4 is the way to go, for sure. I mean, I haven't tried the 6, so I can't speak on that one, but I'm not a fan of that whole selfie thing. The whole selfie stick thing. Madeline says a must-have gear for someone starting out. Again, oh, it depends. If you're streaming, your phone is fine. Make sure you have a charger. Um, when you're some type of, uh, if, if you can get an uh, inexpensive gimbal. Otherwise, I mean, if you're just starting, you know, you can always use it. The main thing with this, I would say, is practice on holding it as you walk. You know that so that it it's not as bumpy because again like i said I, I just was watching a video where it was like <laughs> and you can only watch so much um when it's really shaky yeah and at that point it doesn't matter how good your audio sounds or how great your visual is like yeah. <laughs> bumpiness is horrible it's terrible it's got, so, yeah tripod, it's like a roller coaster yeah. <laughs> tripod an inexpensive gimbal uh Again, I, I want to say buy the, the highest quality that you can that's within your budget. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, if you have to wait an extra month to get, you know, because you're borderline and you want to get something like, like this or like this, I would say just in that case wait so that you can purchase the better quality item. Yeah, we we, didn't, we didn't buy all this stuff overnight, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't just like, we're going to make a YouTube channel, we got all this stuff. No, yeah. like it took... Time, well, it took me years. And like, you said, and like you said, we have a bunch of different stuff because we made mistakes. And, and bought, you know, more inexpensive stuff and then realized, well, that didn't work, you know, and then we've had to upgrade to, to some of the stuff that we have now. But it's like when you're fixing something, you don't just use one tool. Yeah. You use more than a Phillips head screwdriver. Yeah. Like, like this, I, I love that. This is the Ulanzi uh, ball head, but I like it because I can switch it out. So I use this on my <laughs> tripod. I like the quick release mount, though. Yeah. I like that. So... The, and a lot of times, these are supposed to be like kind of universal. Um, but it has a, a mount here too for the mic or whatever you want. And it's pretty strong. You know what I do like about the, the legs though? Because I used to use the, the Gorilla Pod. But yeah. those things get weak over time. Like they the, do. They, they suck. And this one looks like it really like, it looks sturdy. Yeah. I, I, I bought the Gorilla Pods too and then eventually like it'll pop the pop or like they won't hold as long or yeah. yeah just like they just don't last again for those of you i mentioned earlier this i use for when there's a like a railing or something and you know you just or on uh when celeste had her surgery and we were here with uh with the scooter mm -hmm. like i had this on the handlebar and this is how she was reading the chat you know she That's had cool. a scooter cam yeah <laughs> scooter chat have a magnet for the GoPro. I don't have it with me, but I have a mount like, because uh, I've thought of doing a video on the on the gondolas, mm -hmm. the fun wheel. Or from the outside? To hold, well, no, from the inside, but like to hold it on the door, because mm. the magnet will hold. How do you do the graphic to pop up on the screen? That's a good question for you. Mine doesn't do that. <laughs> so, um, with with Prism, you can use their, their GIF files or GIF, depending how you say it, GIF files. So um, I just search for, for files that, that I want and you can add them. You, so with Prism, you can add video, you can add sound, like music, you can add the GIF files, uh, you can add overlays. So you can do like chat I overlays. I haven't used it yet. I, yeah. need to, I need to work on it or practice um, with it, but I, I stick to the YouTube app. It's just... There's, there's Streamlabs. Is it Streamlabs? Streamlabs. That's is another that popular one. That was a paid one. service though, right? Uh, I think you can pay, there's, there's a free version and then you can pay. Uh, that one is similar, uh, but I just like Prism, it just, for yeah, me I, it works better. I have the app, I just haven't used it, so maybe we'll get a, a 1080p live stream soon, live stream soon <laughs> to test it out. Also says, is that a transformer gimbal? 
Yep, more than meets the eye. Okay. Uh, Robots in disguise. Uh, let's see, you guys have all the cool toys on the table. I want to play with Chupacabra says, today is the someday or the eventually you spoke of many moons ago. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, for, for those of you guys that are interested in starting, you know, just do it. Just start with your phone. And you know what I tell when people ask, like we were saying, no training wheels. for one, be yourself. You know, don't copy anybody else. Don't, don't you know, don't try to be like anybody else. Um, and don't worry about anybody else. Don't, you know, people, when they've been around us, they, they've been like, oh, um, I would say like, you're gonna go live? And they're like, no, you guys are gonna go live. I'm like, don't worry about us. Well, you know? I do that just because like, I don't, like you guys go live first, you know, like you guys do it. Like that's just how, it's more like an etiquette, but that's just me. But most people do it as like a, it's like a competition. Well, yeah, it's like and, a but, sick competition. I don't, but, I don't and understand. So that, that's my point is that it's it it shouldn't be a competition. No. But if you plan on bringing your, I guess my point is don't don't be deterred because you see somebody else is going live. Don't let that stop you from doing your thing. You know, if you see somebody like, because if that was the case, we'd come in and we'd see like huge channels that are live, and we're like, well, we're not gonna go live because they're live, you know, mm -hmm. and like, no, it's like, you still come, you do you, you know, like you said, as long as it's all, it's genuine, what you're trying to do, then just focus on you, focus on your channel, don't be scared by, because you see other people are live. You may have one, two viewers, that's where we all started. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. Definitely. Uh, any other questions, guys? Yeah, like, I mean, like, like we just said, though, yeah, everybody started the same way. Like, you put up a video, get one view. Yeah. A month later, you maybe get two. Like, it's just, it's hard. It hurts, but you got to start somewhere. And it's funny, but you think back, I remember with Celeste, we'd be, like, super happy, like, oh, we had 10 people on our live. Yeah, same. You know, and yeah. you're like, that was awesome. In your mind, you're like, we went viral. And then, after, <laughs> and then afterwards, you're just like, man, that was a lot of people. Yeah. All nervous, like, man, I hope, I, I wonder what they all thought. Rick Schwartz says, Paul, thanks for doing this. Sub to your channel. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Preacher says, what is that gimbal you, you showcase out here? This is the Hohem M6. Yeah, M6. I actually like it. It looks so, like, sturdy, and, I, and the features are I, cool, too. I, got, I have two of these. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like, I, like I'll alternate them just because we've been using them so much. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I want to give it a rest. <laughs> so I have two of this particular gimbal. Is zoom in? Huh? This is Zoom? Yeah, for, for when cool. you use the app, yeah. The weight is like serious, so it's like, it feels good. Like, for sure. Uh, oh, the small gray one is the DJI The 4. The budget one. That's budget. Uh, yeah. Uh, GIF, pronounced GIF, is the correct pronunciation. But what's up, Val? I'm really excited for this. I'm going to record a bunch next week. For the eclipse it's cool uh merch queen said you guys need an in-person tech class practice filming live streaming <laughs> we'll walk with you guys chupacara said yeah work with what you got then uh when you can safely afford true setup go for it yep yeah remember all those super old school park bloggers didn't have gimbals they said that would make a great panel for convention chris this is thank you so much for this javier so I'm going to keep looking down. I'm not falling asleep. I'm just reading the comments. How do you overcome other people sharing or staring at you and being mad about you streaming? That's personally why I could never do it. Oh. Just got to not care. Yeah, and uh, sometimes you got to... I know like, I'm guilty of thinking that everybody's uh, critiquing me. Sometimes they might just be curious and that's the expression that they got. I've yeah. had people that stop me, you know, and they're like, oh, you know, what do you use? What, you know, what, what kind of setup is that? You know, do you recommend it? You know, and like, I'll answer their questions. You know, some people are just curious because they could have the same thoughts that you do of wanting to start something and, and don't know how, yep. you know, so that's why, that's how I try to see it. Um, like I said, as long as I know I'm trying to do my part to, to not mess up anybody's experience at the park, right. I'm cool. I haven't had any issues, you know. Um, 
the one time, actually, right now that I was thinking about it, I was in line for um, for the princesses. The which one? The, for the princesses in the royal hall. The royal or hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and there was a family, and and the guy asked, like, "Oh, what, you know, what are you recording?" You know, I don't know if he thought it was his family because he was kind of like in front of me. Uh, and I and I showed him like, oh, come here, look, you know. And, and so he saw he saw that I was pointing up. He like, oh, okay, you know, cool. So again, I I try to do my part so I don't uh, interfere with anybody. And then it says, what exactly do you do to get more viewers? Just keep streaming often. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, if Collaborating. You, if you. Um, if you're consistent, YouTube will start throwing you out into the algorithm. Marine uh, with a $30 super chat says, thank you, Paul. Uh, Lily and Javier for sharing the knowledge. Enjoy a beverage or something after the stream. Thank you, Marine. Thank you. Uh, Merch Queen says, remember 20 people can film the same Apple and you will always get 20 different versions. I like that. Be original, no need for competition. It's true. I love that. It's true. Tiffany says, Paul, I like your personality. Thank you. If Javier's uncle, you are the cousin I'd invite to the barbecue. Let us know. Uh, Pasta says, you have two ho-hims. Uh, I guess we were invited to the barbecue, man. Right? <laughs> Doom says, honestly, most people have phones out taking pictures. The gimbal is the only giveaway for talking to the chat. Sometimes, yeah. Wait, wait, what was that last one? Uh, the gimbal is the giveaway, because most people have their phones out mm -hmm. recording video. Val says, Javier and Celeste are never rude. Yeah, unless you're walking around with, like, this. Like, this is definitely a giveaway. This will give you stares. That's why, for me, like, I've learned to just kind of blur out the background, and it's just me and the camera. Yeah. Like, that's really what it is for me. I don't, people can stare at me all day. I'm not paying attention to them. Unless they come up to me to say something. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is just popping in, but wanted to say this is an awesome collab. And Paul, thank you for sharing your journey with us. Of we are rooting for you. Thank you. Val says, can you post Paul's link again? I, I've known Javier for a while now. Like, we just, we're know. just never here at the we same never, time yeah. for the most part. But lately, I've been seeing him more often than Downtown Disney. So we, we're like, hey, we like tech. Let's talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, guys, can you make sure you post Paul's uh, link again? Thank you. Um, all right, guys, any any final thoughts? My final thought is these chairs could be a little more comfier. <laughs> like, they're cool, they're metal, they, they look, they're colorful, they look like they came from Ikea, but they need a cushion or something. The, those seats are, are better. Well, at the same time, I think they don't want to for, for no, yeah. If I was there, I would definitely fall asleep. It's in the shade, and you, know, you got the nice sounds of the construction in the background. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but, yeah, these chairs... Especially like me, like I'm a big dude, so I don't know. Make it count, every day is a good day. True. That's so true. Mini girl says, I love how Javier's always willing to help others. He's, you know, again, I don't, I've, I've never had an issue with, with sharing the knowledge because, and a lot of the things, I, I joke around, you know, with, with uh, Celeste and I'll say it sometimes. Usually the, the knowledge that I share is are things that you can't just google you know because i've learned through experience, experience and through figuring stuff out where i've searched for things and i can't find the answer that's how i end up find you know doing it or figuring it out so i don't mind sharing sharing the knowledge i don't mind like like even for recipes i love to cook i didn't I know go, that I, I share the recipes I like to freely eat. because <laughs> you like invite. You know? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, we're gonna invite to the barbecue. I dude. know. <laughs> um, but I figure, you know, just having the knowledge or sharing the knowledge, giving you the knowledge, isn't taking away from me. You know, because at the same time, it's helping you grow, and and you're able to hopefully do something that that you want to do. You know, and and. People are intimidated because I've been afraid. I was afraid for the longest to do this. I always wanted to do a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know what. So I tried photography, but that, that didn't work out. I tried cakes because we would make cakes. That didn't work out. 
Um, and then finally here, it just so happened to work out, like I told, convinced Celeste, like, well, let's document our journey, you know, since we're new magic key holders. Right. And that's how it came about. The, stre <coughs> the streaming wasn't even part of the equation at first. I don't even oh. know how we evolved. Oh, we evolved into it because I took long to edit videos. Oh, okay. And Celeste was like, well, let's go live so we can show the stuff at the moment because you're going to take a week to edit a video. So we're I'm sure like, she okay. Said it was <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> and that's how we, you know, and that's how we started streaming. And we've built this amazing community that we have now, you know, so if we're able to do it, and again, I'm camera shy. Like I don't, you know, I get nervous being in front of the camera. Like this, that's why in a way this is helping me because I'm not seeing me right there. What do you mean? Oh, like. The fact that it's not facing the other way. Yeah. Um, but that's why, again, like I said, you know, I, I, I love sharing what I learned. So hopefully somebody else can start doing, you know, what they what they dream of, what they want to what do. What their passion is. And, and the thing, you know, you guys hear me say it for Motivational Monday, just start. You know, you might figure out that a month from now that this isn't what you want to do. You know, you might, because it's hard. It's a lot of work. Right? It's yeah. a lot of work to, to live stream or Mentally. to do video. Yeah, it's a lot of mental work to, to live stream, to record, to edit, to everything. You know, so you might figure out after a month of doing it that this isn't for you, and that's fine, but at least... You, you don't walk away with the what if, you know, you, you get to try it and experiment and figure out that, yes, this is for me or not. No, live streaming is def, I feel like live streaming is harder than making videos. And I, the only reason I say it is because like, you have to, uh, you have to entertain people yeah. in real time. Yeah. You know, you don't just like record and then you're done, you take a breath. We've been talking for like, how long we, how long we've been live? I don't know, like we've three, been, oh, yeah, it doesn't say here. Three hours. Yeah, we've been live for like three hours or so. And you know, we've been talking this whole time. <laughs> Which is not like, it's fun, it's, it's, it's coming like organically because we're just here having a good time, but like if you're by yourself and you're live streaming, like reading the comments, walking around, getting on rides, waiting in line for rides and all, all that stuff, that, that's a lot. Like it, it becomes yeah. a lot. Murray says, Paul loves the band as much as Javier. His content is great. Yeah, you I do love, capture the band a lot. I love the band, man. man. I used to be in band in high school. I'm a nerd. Did you? Yeah. What'd you play? Snare drum. Oh, bass really? Drum. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm an all around nerd. Pre-tier Pre says, how do you guys handle when you need the restroom? I have a be right back screen on. Oh, on that's it. genius! You know, and, and so you guys will hear me say like I'm gonna make a pit stop or whatever I say. For um, me, I only go live like an hour, so I don't. I'm yeah. okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, Barry Susie says, "So nice to see you two together." <laughs> Dart says, "More just a guy in the paw collabs." Let's do it. Citlali uh, says, "Muchísimas gracias." Gracias a ustedes. Uh, next collab, Paul and Merch Queen. Search the merch. We can do it. Uh, I can't wait to hear what she says about you, man. <laughs> I, I know. Right? It's like a, it's like a, like a battle right now. <laughs> Chupacabras with the four ninety nine super chests. Thank you both, both for the wealth of knowledge, helping everyone on their journey. You guys are the best. Instead of gatekeeping, you're opening doors. Thank you, Chupacabras. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, I was I get caught up reading. That's why I'm horrible at live streaming. <laughs> uh, Jose says, I first found out about Paul when I was watching Mondo's live stream when Disney reopened. I enjoy all your guys' content. Javier can cook a seafood broil, though. We're all invited. <laughs> that would be close to do like a meet and greet like that. Right? I mean, it'd be expensive, but you know what I mean? Like, you know. You say I'm gonna take a piss stop for the bathroom breaks. That's cool though. I didn't. I never thought about that. Yeah, and, uh, and so we incorporated the be right back screen. So now we have like um, the viewers. They've dropped like pets. So oh. I got pictures of, of everybody's pets. You know, from from in there. So that's it, cool. It cycles through. That is cool. Yeah, see, I haven't been able to like unlock all that, those cool features because I'm boring and I use the YouTube app, and you can't do anything on there. I think they started adding a few features now, but still not as good as like what you guys do. Let's see, we got uh, actually somebody asked. Hi, and thank you. Tune in late. May I ask where you guys are sitting? We are in downtown Disney, right across from the Star Wars Trading Post. This is the new stage area, like a little, I don't know, park area here. 
as part of the expansion for downtown Disney. I believe this should be opening, right? But once it's completed, it's going to continue you know, that way. I, I've kind of seen the pictures, but I don't remember it. I, you know, I don't, I don't yeah. know what, what, like, I don't even know what restaurant this is. I don't know which one's this one. Like, I just see colorful walls. So there's supposed to be shops, I think, behind us here that you'll, that'll eventually be done. Hmm. I just can't wait to see it when it happens, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, this is Paul. Do you vlog with your wife? Nope. Not a camera person. <laughs> there. We had like 160 people like for the most time, for the most part, like the whole time. That's pretty cool. Uh, Mouse House Girls, so you make cakes? Can you share? Yeah, I think they dropped the, the link. It's called Cakes by Celeste. Are they good? I'm a They're cake good, person, yeah. man. Are you? Cake. Yeah. I love, I love buttercream. They're, they're, they're really Love me good. some buttercream. Some funfetti. <laughs> yeah, Thanks this is, well, a, well I don't know if how quiet it is. Uh, because with all the construction going on, it's not a, it's not that quiet. There's some areas in the, in the park that can be quiet. Well, actually, if you're in the park, you have the, what's the baby center? Is that what it's called? Oh, right there at the uh, at the end of Main Street. Yeah. By the uh, I think it's baby center. Yeah, by the red wagon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. With the, by with the, the first dog. aid station. Oh, not red wagon. Look at the corn dog station. Yeah, that one. There's one in DCA too. In, yeah, Where's that one at? Uh, it's by the Garanelli's. Oh, that little corner yeah, area. It's by there too. Oh, okay. I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're talking about. Yeah, I know the Disneyland one more though. I, I, yeah. I always overlook it because you see Ghirardelli, you're like, yeah, that's all you think like, of, hey, like ice cream. <laughs> all right, guys. I think I don't. I think we're good with the questions. J2 said, "Ooh, funfetti." Paul's my new BFF. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we go way back. Buttercream is one of the basic food groups. <laughs> Omg. So yeah, guys. So thank you everybody for. I mean, come on for hanging out. Come if you on. have any questions, any additional questions, you know, drop them in the in the comments of the video. Maybe we can do this again sometime. We'll, yeah. We'll answer all the questions. We can, uh, yeah, we can do this, uh, um, collect the questions and, and do this in the future again. And yeah, it was like a first time thing. So if you guys have any like- Suggestions. There you or, go. Yeah. yeah. Let us know. Maybe, uh, yeah. We can bring you along on, I don't know, the, See, uh, see Paul's uh, process. My process? Yeah. It's very simple, very quick. Rich. Right? Yeah, she's, she's seen me very, film. I was going to say, like, you don't break from consistency. No, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's very quick. Very routine, that's the word. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Doom says this was great. Definitely got to do it again. Jose says, new channel, just a guy and a guy. <laughs> Amy says, thank you, Javier and Paul, for your knowledge, giving us feedback. It's greatly appreciated. So, guys, make sure Thanks, you Amy. guys follow Paul's uh, uh, YouTube channel. Subscribe. Thank you. Paul's Theme Park Adventures. You're also on Instagram. Yeah, it's You're on same. TikTok? I have one, but I don't use this. So, yeah, don't even go. No, no, <laughs> don't even don't go. worry Don't waste your time. But, uh, but make sure you check out uh, Paul's videos. Um, Make sure you, you go and, and, and you support the channel. Um, we'll try to do these again. I'll pass it, drop the link. The baby's care centers and the parks. Yeah, next video we'll have all new stuff. We'll get rid of all the stuff we're currently using. We'll spend with $10,000 and buy new stuff, don't worry. <laughs> Whole new video. Right? I'm just kidding. It's for science. Celeste, I gotta buy the, I gotta buy the, the you items. You have to. It's for we science. Have to. Who are we to say no to the fans or the, the people watching, the viewers? Celeste says Star Wars merch. Is it out? I don't know. I'll probably go peek after this, but. Uh, Wait, are you going to do a stream around downtown Disney too or are you going to the parks? Um, I'm probably going to go into the park. Well, I'm probably going to start in, uh, down here and show the. Yeah. This was his warm up, so I'm sure after this he's going to do another <laughs> one, which I, don't, I mean, I wish I had that stamina like you do. I can't do it. Oh, man, this is we'll be streaming in the park today. Yeah, I'll start here since we're here, kind of work our way down. We'll start another stream though. Um, go into the park and probably show the parade, and probably leave after the parade. 
I'll be walking behind him filming. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Everybody said thank you. Uh, Bixby Bailey says, yep, Paul's channel is great. Nice. Well, I personally want to say thank you guys for watching. I mean, we just, we were, we were literally hanging out one time. We were streaming. We, were, we stopped at a trash can. We started showing stuff to each other. <laughs> yeah. And like, I don't know, like that's where this kind of idea was birthed or whatever. And it happened and, and it was fun. I had a lot of fun. I call them my workstations. Works, yeah, I'd love. Man, that's that's a dinner table. That's a workstation. Right. That's everything. They're super clean. They're, they're super clean. And the uh, best part is underneath, there's a trash can. <laughs> uh, also, listen, no, I want to know your take on the Star Wars merch. Have you seen the, the pictures of the stuff that's coming out? Uh, I saw the backpack, the launch white bag. Eh, I got to see it in person. I don't want to go off of photos because sometimes, like, some stuff comes out here before I see it in photos. And I'm like, okay, it looks okay. But when you see it in photos, like, ugh, like, you know? Yeah, so I rather, I rather even wait. on videos, she's like, I like it, and then she gets here, and she's like, once she's like, touches it, she's like, eh. That's why I try to describe things as best I can for that reason, because sometimes it you, just it just doesn't go through as well. And and I got to commend you for that. You do you do give uh, good descriptions and you know accurate stuff, because I I struggle with that when I'm showing merch, and so sometimes you'll hear on my channel or like, oh, you know, this is. I don't know what color is that. I think that's dirty pink, and you know. Hey, and so it, it took it me a while stuck. to learn to do that. Though I mean, I, I've done, like so eh, it's, go, it's okay. So that's my color scale. Like there's pink, light pink, dirty, dirty pink. pink, you know, filthy pink. Filthy you know? pink. <laughs> it just gets nastier. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> a lot of people are gonna go, oh, I know what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Some people are like, I like dirty pink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pasta says again, Paul's links are pinned above. Please go and support this great creator and friend. Yes. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Thank you again. Um, thank you for this, for hanging out with us. Again, oh, drop whatever questions you may have. Um, I posted some of the links below in the description for some of the items, the microphones. You know, they are um, affiliate links. So if you click on them, it will take you to Amazon. Um, so just, you know, make a, a scent or whatever. So make, make sure you buy them is what we're saying. Yeah. Well, you know, and uh, so here's the thing. The way the affiliate links work is as long as you click on the link to get to Amazon, it doesn't matter what you purchase. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the creator gets credit for anything because I've seen, we don't, we don't see who purchases, but I've, I've gone in and I've seen people have bought like toilet paper, mm -hmm. you know, dish soap and stuff. And uh, so Deodorant. the creator gets credit because you're going to Amazon off of that link. So, you know, always click on the a, a, on a affiliate link from a creator, you know, the, the, that you want if you're gonna go to Amazon. And yeah, during that whole- Definitely, definitely support him. I mean, this guy works hard. I'm telling you, he just did a what, three hour live stream and he's about to go do another 10 hour live stream. Like, I mean, <laughs> well, come no, on. No, 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 <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But you know, he's gonna do another like, like live stream. So like, I'd uh, be our, dead. our viewers are like, you, Paul said you were gonna do 10 hours. <laughs> I'm, I'm lying, don't believe me. Mini Girl said, I enjoy Paul's videos on merch, how he takes uh, his time on descriptions. Thank you. I just try to show things how I would want to see them. Yeah. So yeah, so again, thank you guys. Thank you, thanks for, for hanging out with us. Thank you for, for being here. Drop for the questions, us. for support, yes, for supporting. And, uh, and again, start that journey. If you're interested, just take the first step. You guys here say you know, baby steps, whatever it is, you know, just get started. Um, you guys hear me say yesterday I was mentioning don't let the fear stop you. All your blessings are on the other side of that fear. So, you know, just take the step, like push that. through. And thank you. Thank you for, for all that you do for the community. Again, I, like I said, I've always admired I've, I've you. I've been in and out for a, you know, a little bit, but. <laughs> it's okay, but we're going to get back to where we were, right? Yeah. So just and more. positive and more. To infinity and beyond. Yes. <laughs> but thank you. I've always admired your content. You know, you're a That's great nice. guy. So I appreciate you taking the time and and coming to to bless us with your presence over oh, here on this come channel. On, so man. thank you. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate that. I'm serious. So, so thank you. Thank you, guys. Again, make sure you follow. Thanks, guys. And uh, we will catch you guys on the next video. This isn't going to be smooth because I got to get up and go hit the... <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Pretend he's here. Yeah, I'm right he's here. Still here. He, he's still here. He's right here. So Javier, how are you feeling yes, today? Yes, right? <laughs> you put Goofy right I, I there? Know, I know. <laughs>
There you go. Steve's got the hat and everything. See? This is the thumbnail. No, I'm just kidding. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.